everybody, how is it going? It is the first Monday of December, which means we get to figure out what game we're playing this month for game clearing. Now, uh, those of you that did hear this before, um, you already know what to expect, but for those who did not, we are doing something a little different this month. We did what we called the Last Chance Christmas this month, where the games that got last place in every single poll this year has got a second chance to be played this month. So the winner of this month's uh, poll is actually the loser, the, the biggest loser out of uh, one of the previous months. Now, uh, as always when we do these now, let me show you the trailer for what games the subs got to vote on for us to play this month. Dear Santa Egg, I would like another chance to be a game clearing game. Okay. Starting with January's last place game, Marvel Super Heroes War of the Gems. <clears throat> this is the second in the SNES beat em up series that Capcom did for uh, Marvel licenses, the first being X Men Mutant Apocalypse. This one obviously uses the Infinity Gems, and a bunch of well-known superheroes such as Wolverine, Spider-Man, Iron Man, Captain America, and the Incredible Hulk. Known for being a tough beat-em-up, very challenging, but also pretty fun. Goldman, do you know what you're doing? <laughs> I don't. Also, Doctor Doom is here. War of the Gems. What? Next up, February's game. Otomedius Excellence. A cute em up. Basically, uh, taking Gradius, but making everything very moe and very waifu. And other words that sound like that. It's very, it's very anime to the max. But at its heart, it is very much a Gradius type game. Including a bunch of references between references to previous Gradius games, including bosses like Big Cores, and even some references to Parodius, of all things. Such as uh, Neko Sencho here. Now, February was actually a tie. Which is perfect because there was not a uh, July poll. So the game that tied that one was Hagane the Final Conflict. This is one of the rarest uh, normally released Super Nintendo games. This was a blockbuster exclusive. So as a result, it's actually very hard to get a copy of this game. Uh, but also, it's one of the harder games on the Super Nintendo. So this was probably the hardest game on the list completely. At least from what I've been told. Obviously, I haven't played through the game, but we have streamed a bit of this game before. It is otherwise a very good shinobi-like hack and slash. Made by Hudson Soft. You will recognize a lot in red. You will recognize a lot of companies on this one, such as Capcom. For the second time with a second Super Nintendo game, UN Squadron. A side-scrolling shoot 'em up from near the launch of the system, based off the arcade game of the same name, based off the Japanese anime and manga Area 88. Actually, I think it might have been OVA and manga, but yeah, either way, it's based off of a series. What? So, for those who didn't notice throughout the year, uh, every poll option picked one game from a system, unless I think there might have been one exception when we kind of got a little jammed, or if there were carryovers from previous months that I just double down on but uh, most of the options that got last place were Super Nintendo and NES games I think Super Nintendo makes up at least four of the options in this poll Bucky O'Hare based off of the late 80s early 90s cartoon and comic book series a Konami NES platforming game also very challenging but has infinite continue so at least it's beatable 
deceptively acts like a uh, Mega Man style game in the beginning and then becomes so much more by the end of it. You have to use the different crewmates that you find throughout the game to solve certain stage areas and get through while with your sanity intact. Now we have streamed a bunch of this before. We actually did a race of this one. Uh, I don't remember what month that was exactly. It was probably like September-ish. But we never beat it. We only did an hour of the race, and uh, based on the long play compared to, we got maybe 40 to 45% through the game. So it, it would have it would take a while if we got through that. Next up, Crackdown 3, the third game in the Crackdown series after a long, long hiatus. This game was a very troubled development-wise. Uh, in fact, should have been out, I think, late 360, early Xbox One. It actually took a while for this to even get released. But it is essentially an open world uh, action game. Just, you get powers, you progressively uh, be able to get to jump higher, run faster. You just kind of make everything go crazy and everything explodes. It's a very colorful, flashy game. And also a cooperative game. Also, one of the characters is Terry Crews. Like, one of the playable characters. Next up... Is this Super Metroid? I... no. No, that definitely is not a comparison that to make. I would not compare this to Super Metroid. Oh shit, hang on! Ah, la, 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 la. Sorry! Uh... I forgot for a second there. Aliens Infestation, the next game up. I have to mute the trailer, unfortunately, because it actually uses music from the movie Aliens, which we found out, unfortunately. Uh, this was June's last place game, and this is actually the game that ended up leading to us actually doing the trailer videos in the first place, because no one knew what this was. Uh, this is a, uh, a game actually done by Way Forward. This was originally supposed to be the DS version of Aliens Colonial Marines, uh, a very notoriously bad game that came out on the Wii U and that generation. Uh, this was supposed to be a tie-in, but that game got delayed so much, they just made its own standalone game, Aliens Infestation. Next up. Biker Mice from Mars, another 90s cartoon series, another Super Nintendo game, another Konami game. The August Pole Loser. It is an isometric racing game, a la rock and roll racing. But obviously themed around Biker Mice from Mars. Actually a somewhat challenging game, but if you like racing games like this, pretty good. The soundtrack's pretty awesome too. But this was Konami in their peak, so it's not exactly shocking that the soundtrack would be good. Only six characters to choose from in the entire game, so it does kind of stretch out a little bit, but a neat concept, especially if you like the show. September's game, Tech Romancer. What that guy said. An arcade game ported to the Dreamcast. The September Pole last place game. Also one of the rare Dreamcast games, although that is a normal sentence to be said about the Dreamcast, especially with Capcom. Which, this is another Capcom game. If you love your giant robots, this is the game for you. Including even a story mode. And, of course, giant swords and giant lasers. Oh, this one went a lot longer than I remembered it going. Oops. Capcom. October's Loser, the Halloween game, The Simpsons, Night of the Living, Treehouse of Horror. A very spooky question mark game? Where you have to go through different games playing as different members of The Simpsons family. Not really much else to say about this. 
Obviously, some of them are not, stories are not directly taken from the Treehouse of Horror uh, episodes, but uh, you'll see some similar things. There are obviously lots of zombies, anything spooky. Marge with a gun, you know, a normal episode of The Simpsons. Not bad for a Game Boy Color game. Next up, November's last place game, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie, the game for the Game Gear. An extremely long title. Ironically, the game may actually be shorter than saying the title because uh, the, the, uh, the long play I found of this one was about 22 minutes. It was, it's probably the shortest game we have on the list. Maybe not exactly, but it's definitely in the, in the running for that. This is a game I actually remember playing as a kid, because my cousin had a Game Gear and he had both Power Ranger games, so I do remember playing a bit of this. But as you can see, it's, you know, as good of a fighting game as you can get on the Game Gear. Neat idea, neat execution. And that's that. And the last game on the poll was that, because I forgot this was only 11 games. Oops. There were 11 games on the poll. So that's what we're working with. So let's see what actually won. Oh, wait, November. Yeah. What lost December's poll? Oh, right. Okay. So, for those who aren't quite familiar with this, what we do now is we have uh, a setup where subs vote to see what games uh, get picked. And the way this works is that they get to actually pick all the games they want, God, want and each of those gets a certain amount of points. The first game they pick gets 12 points, the second game they pick gets 11, and so on and so on till the last game. Now, the catch here is that they don't have the vote for every game. They don't have the... Why do I hear Ryu? Psychotic Sonic killing Ryu with kindness and bullets saying, Hey John, friendly neighborhood Ryu killer here with a question. I want to buy an Elgato, but I, how can I tell if I have a USB 3.0 port? My device manager says USB root hub, US3, USB 3.0, but my ports are black, not blue. Ooh. Ooh, okay. That actually is a little tricky there. Traditionally, if your USB ports are blue, that does mean you have a 3.0 port. Uh, if you see in your device manager at USB Root Hub 3.0, that usually means it supports 3.0, but you may not actually have a 3.0 port. The best thing to do at that point, if it's not colored, is I believe the pin count on a 3.0 port is different. So you're going to have to look up uh, pictures of 2.0 and 3.0 ports to make sure. And then you're going to have to look very carefully. Alternatively, you could just buy a USB 3.0 card and just plug that into your computer if you're savvy enough to do that. Just paint the port blue. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, yeah, no, honestly, like, yeah, just check the pin count. Uh, most Elgato cards are forced to work with 3.0, but sometimes I'm, I'm, just, I'm like hovering across this. Sometimes they do work with 2.0. Just don't bank on it because usually they don't. So yeah, uh, do your best to try to figure out what the 3.0 port is. Yeah, there we go. Digital Ronin says it in the chat. Uh, USB 2.0 pins 4, 3.0 pins 9. So there's a visible difference. Uh, look the pictures up on the internet, double check your ports, and hopefully you don't have to buy an extra part. Alright. So here we go. We got 11 games. Each, uh, each game got a ton of votes. We had 690 people vote for the games tonight. Nice. 251 of those people actually voted for every game and ranked accordingly. So 
So we are going to start uh, reading them off from the bottom. So officially the game that got last place this month is officially the worst game I suggested this year for game clearing. Because it lost, it got last place twice. Now, I'm just going to state right now, out of all the games on this list, the majority of them I think are good games. There's two that I think aren't good games. And uh, last place wasn't one of them. In last place, with 2,728 points, the worst game that I apparently picked this year for game clearing was UN Squadron for the Super Nintendo. Apparently no one wanted that shmup. Or not enough people wanted it. Yeah. Like I said, it's not a bad game. It's a hard game, but it is, it is a good game. I was legit surprised that got last. The game I expected to get last place didn't, but it was next. That's The Simpsons, Night of the Living Treehouse of Horror for the Game Boy Color with 2,950 votes. Actually a decent gap. That was the game I thought was going to get last place overall. It didn't. Probably mainly because it was The Simpsons. All right, ninth place. Biker Mice from Mars for the Super Nintendo. 3,003, three, yeah, sorry, 3,031 points. Eighth place, 3,048 points, Hagane for the Super Nintendo. So those are pretty close. Seventh place, Bucky O'Hare for the NES, 3,233 points. Sixth place, Tech Romancer for the Dreamcast, 3,585 points. Now, I'm going to be honest here. There was no game I really... Ex well, the game I expected to win, I, I wasn't sure about. But honestly, the top five remaining games all took the lead at one point. So all the games at some point that I'm gonna have about to read out held the lead at some point. But at some point, the actual winner ran away and uh, has been safe since. But uh, a bunch of these are going to be pretty close. Let's start with 5th place, with 3,720 points, Marvel Super Heroes War of the Gems for the Super Nintendo. 4th place, with 3,759 points instead of 20, Odomedius Excellent for the Xbox 360, which leaves us to the top 3. Three thousand seven hundred and seventy-six votes instead of three thousand seven hundred fifty-nine. So literally, uh, two two votes could have made the difference on this one. Two people voting. Third place is Crackdown Three for the Xbox One. I would like to point out before we get to the final two and the actual winner. Uh, we are going. Most of these games on the list are pretty short. So, more than likely, we're going to be finishing the first game, the second game, and probably the third game. So, we're probably going to be doing that. So, Crackdown 3 likely will get played as well this month. As will the game in second place, which I am legitimately surprised it got second place and held the lead a fair amount. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie The Game for Game Gear. <laughs> 3,859 points. I was legit surprised that was that high. Which of course means the game that we will be playing this month with 4,085 points, a little over 200 point lead for the DS, <laughs> Aliens Infestation. Published by Sega and made by Way Forward. That's what we'll be playing tonight. All right, let's uh, let's do a little breakdown here. We normally we tend to do these a fair amount. Uh, we have the breakdown for the first, second, and third place votes. So let's get to those before we hop into the game. 
First place votes. As my mouse apparently decides to not want to move. There we go. Aliens Infestation got the most first place votes. 116 overall. Crackdown 3 was actually in second place with 103. Odomedius, excellent. 91. Odomedius was actually like, seriously, it was crazy. Like we were all commenting in the mod room that Odomedius, Crackdown, and Mighty Morphin Power Rangers kept constantly swapping second, third, and fourth place. And Super Marvel Super Heroes held the lead at the very beginning of the poll and then couldn't quite get back there, but it, it hung on in the top five. Now, having said that, Crackdown 3 did was tied for the most part with the Aliens Infestation for the longest time, but when we get to second place votes, it's a different story. Second place votes, Crackdown 3 was the fifth most requested. But Aliens Infestation, again was uh, most people's second place choice as well, along with Power Rangers the movie The Game, which is where I got a lot of its votes from. Uh, third place, which I don't... Yeah, my pan's not going to work here. Uh, third place, most people pick Marvel superheroes. Uh, Crackdown 3? <laughs> uh, lost a lot of traction for second place choices, and it lost a ton in third place choices. Hang on, my mouse is... Come on. Crackdown 3 had the second <laughs> second least third place votes out of any game, only losing to UN Squadron. Which meant a lot of people picked Crackdown 3 for their first choice, but not their second or third. <laughs> Which is why Crackdown 3 barely made top three. And the last game, last place votes. The game that got the amount of the most last place votes was both. The Simpsons at 74 and Crackdown 3 at 72. Crackdown 3 somehow got la third place based on having the second most first place votes and the second most last place votes. It's honestly kind of impressive in a chaotic way. The game that got the least last place votes was surprisingly Hagane. I mean, even Aliens Infestation was right in the middle, although these are all pretty close. 31, 36, 37, 38, 39, so yeah, all pretty close. That's more of a toss-up. But very clearly, Crackdown 3 and The Simpsons' Night of the Living Treehouse of Horror. Like, UN Squadron was actually really low for last place votes, but it was also low for all the, the votes that mattered, so that was a trade-off there. All right. Those are the numbers. Like I said, uh, most of these games are pretty short, so we are likely going to play the first three games. Uh, the quote, the uh, the time length I have written down for each game is as follows. Uh, for Aliens Infestation, uh, six to seven hours is what I was quoted from How Long to Beat. For Power Rangers, the movie, the game, uh, I think it actually said something like 30 minutes to an hour, but I, I rounded up a bit because I know my luck. So I said one to two hour for Power Rangers, the movie, the game. Uh, third place is Crackdown 3, which is the longest game at 6.5 to 10 hours. It will likely be longer uh, because the completionist rating on that is 25 hours, but I don't know what that actually entails. But we're going to do co-op for Crackdown 3 because it supports two-player co-op. Uh, and then fourth place was Odomedius Excellent, which is 1 to 3 hours. So uh, depending on how UN Squadron, or sorry, depending on how Crackdown 3 goes, we might sneak that in as well, but the main plan right now is for sure uh, this game should take two streams. Power Rangers the movie the game should take a bit of a stream, and then Crackdown 3 will take two to three streams, and then we'll we'll see how that goes from there. But let's do it. Oh, why is my mouse not working? What the fuck? Is that bagel fur? That's bagel fur. Ugh, bagel. All right. Jigger, what is this you sent me? I don't believe this. It's an alien. Oh. That checks. All right. 
Sega, where, way forward. Gearbox, because Gearbox was Col Colonial Marines. Aliens infestation. Let's get to it. This was actually a brand new copy of the game. I actually had to take it out of the packaging before I started, so. Let's see what we've unlocked. We could unlock Knife Trick. Marine roster. And credits. Controls. Control pad to move, control pad up, aim upwards, use elevator or ladder. Crouch, use elevator or ladder. Uh, a, open, use, roll when running, take cover near crate. B button, jump, X button, use explosives, Y button, fire weapon, L button, lock feet for aiming, R button, run, start, pause, select, change explosives, touch screen, select weapons, reload, use tool, swap characters, save room only, access map. Oh. That's a lot. So this is just the mummy game, but with aliens, right? It gives me that vibe. It might be. That's more or less how I had it sold to me. But let's actually find out, huh? Six weeks ago, second and ninth Bravo squad under, I can barely read this font, under the command of second Lieutenant S. Gorman attached to the USS Sulaco set course for the small moon. Okay, it's, Hang on, there's a, this is fast. Although those Atron, they were deployed in a reconnaissance capacity to reestablish contact with the colony of uh, Haley's Hope. Uh, this is so hard to read. Population 150 is unknown. What transpired on the ground as the last transmission was from the ship XO with cryptic was brief. Prophet Squad, LMK, Atron, Coast 6, Sulaco, en route to Gateway, the ETA, 490 hours for the original. original, original. Sulaco, the Atron, to the Gateway, ship was searched on the morning. It was long before it was the Morgan on your Gamma Sleepers in the outer rim. First response was to the last scans to determine that it was on one of human survivor on board. After they could not make a radio contact with survivor, that's why you were here today, Marines. Good luck. Okay, that was a little too fast. <laughs> That was a little, a little too fast. Oh my god. Hello, Fireteam Fox. Sorry for the short notice on this deployment. That's why I had to say the, the mission so fast. Uh, I'm just getting up to speed myself. I'm Lieutenant Colonel Patrick Steele. I'll be your CO and directly overseeing Task Force Operations. Colonel Stainless Steele? I can't believe it. The, that guy's a legend. They named Pots and Pans after him. Quit sucking up and start shutting up. This is solely a Charlie Squad operation. Fireteam Delta is securing the command center. Fireteam Echo is retrieving the flight records. And you Fox boys are searching for our missing life form. Corporal Cameron, would you like to brief your team? Yes, sir. Okay, listen up, Fox 6. Our mission is to board the USS Sulaco. Locate and identify the life form. Then secure and extract them back to the USS Sephora. Any questions? Um... Are we to expect any resistance? Oh, that guy is so dead. That guy is so dead. Look at him. Haha! <laughs> Only from you, Whistler, you big wuss. Hey! Go easy on the kid, Johnson. Or Johnson, we were all newbies once. I ain't never been green as skinny here. Well, we're all marine green now, so what's the matter? <laughs> I'm greener than all of you! To answer your question, Private, we don't know. I'm getting strange readings from inside the ship, but what they mean, we aren't exactly sure. We assume the life form we're tracking is a marine or one of the ad advisors sent to LV-426, but it could be anyone. So stay frosty, people. Everyone come back alive. Man, I hope it ain't friendly. I hate to think I'm lugging all this ammo for nothing. Yeah, about that. Watch your fire in there, homewrecker. Are we clear? Crystal Corporal. Wow, Johnston, that's the most agreeable I think I've ever seen you. You should be around when we're dishing dirt on you, Bear. Fall in, people. Okay, who's on point? Please touch a Marine's portrait to continue the fight. All right. I think the real question is who are we killing first, which I think that's Whistler. Yes, sir. Listen up, team. I'll be taking point. At least until we figure out what's going on around here. Okay, Colonel, where do we start? First thing we need to accomplish is syncing up our map. I can't hear you over this jet. The first thing we need to accomplish is syncing up our map data so I can effectively track your fire team. There should be a map da data terminal access point. Close by. Report it when you found it. Well, call command. Fox 6 is Oscar Mike. He looks way buffer than he does in his portrait. 
All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, that is some Shantae-ass sound effects. That's how you know this is way forward. I'm not I'm not gonna do the squeaky teen voice the whole time. That's gonna hurt to do. Command the door at the hangar, door is locked. Please advise. Hmm. The ship appears to be in lockdown. Those doors are armor plated. You'll have a hard time forcing your way through. Let me see what I can do. Okay, that should do it. I was able to interface with the hangar remote oh yeah. Wait, why is it spelled hangar E R? I just noticed that. Uh, if you look at the map data terminal, I can make take the rest of the ship out of lockdown as well. Roger that. 6-1 out. Oh boy, there's a there's a lot here to take in, huh? Oh, that's quite the roll. Command, I've reached a computer room. Can I access the, data, the map data here? Negative 6-1, it looks like you found a communication station. Access the comm terminals in these rooms to save a record of your progress and set up a checkpoint with your fire team. You can switch your point man here by tapping another Marine's monitor. You can rearm and tend to your injuries here as well. Make good use of these rooms. All right, so here's an important thing about this game. I do remember this. Uh, permadeath is a thing. Your characters can die, and they do not come back. Well, go Colonel, I'll make it a habit. Notice how <laughs> the other three have very obvious sprites. What happens if I switch to someone else here? Let me see. It's all copy. He's the only one who doesn't take off his helmet. He's 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 literally meant to be fodder. That's hilarious. All right, let's save. Um. All oh right, we've already reloaded. And that one bullet back. Thank you. All right, you three have fun. Oh shit, that steam hurt a lot. <laughs> Zowie! <laughs> Are you okay, Private? This area looks dan this area took damage. There's steam block in the way. Ouch, what should I do? This is a present. Mm, you could probably turn down the pressure if you had a wrench. It's Look not worth risking the mission trying to run past it. Leave it for now. Roger that, Colonel Six went out. Zowie! I look forward to meeting you people again. Command, this elevator won't work. Ah, of course, I should have anticipated this. All the elevators in this ship are key locked based on security clearance protocols. Not gonna get in without proper access key cards. An access card, we're gonna get one of those. Hard to say, they're issued to the crew based on their level of security clearance. Different elevators have different levels of clearance, so you'll need to find a key card at above, at or above the clearance level of any elevator you wish to use. If your eyes open, maybe you'll get lucky. Until you find one, though, you'll have to just try to maneuver around it. Oh boy. All right. Want to try it anyways. It's a kitty. They did the thing from the movie. Command, I'm get an access key card with level one clearance. Level one, that's not gonna get you very far, so let's start. Look around the area and see what you can access. You got it, six one out. This 
Spooky music's back. Level s oh my god, we're definitely not going that way anytime soon. Uh oh. Huh? What's going on? I'm not sure Fox 6, but I can't help you until I have map data. Find that terminal. Roger that command 6 1 is Oscar Mike. No! Not allowed! I've been attacked by a box. Great, now what? What's going on, Marine? I'm trapped in the CO's stateroom. Look around, maybe there's a key or something. How about this? Command has found some M23S offensive grenades. They're very offensive. They're very repugnant, too. Maybe I can blow open the door. Negative 6 1, those doors are too strong, but maybe you can find another way out. What do you see? There's a reinforced access hatch on the wall. Grenades should make short work of one of those hatches. Try throwing one at it. Um, there we go. Hey! We broke something. It works, sir! The hatch's been destroyed. I can see into the shaft now, but where does it lead? To doom. To a maze of wires and pipes. Mechantex use them for ship maintenance. Follow that shaft uh, long enough and you're bound to find an exit. Got that, sir. I'm going in. Good luck, Fox 6. Remember, you can uh, blow off those hatches pretty easily with explosives. Use that to your advantage. Just be cautious when using explosives in a confined area or the blast may hurt you. Do I have limited ammo in this game? Yes. That's what the... Uh, if you notice here on the HUD, it says 94 in the top left. Uh, I don't know if you can quite see it on the bottom screen, but there's a 284 next to my gun as well. So I have, uh, I guess, three clips of 95 ammo. But when I go to a save room, I can reload there. That's also where I can switch characters. So I'm stuck as Whistler until we get to another save room. That's a nice roll he's got going there. That's not bad, Whistler. Well, that looks bad. Man, this is Fox 6. I found a dead UPP soldier in the shafts. Cause of death unknown. So the UPP are behind this. Stay frosty, Fox 6. The UPP are known for using combat androids. They won't appear on my scanner, so just be careful. You got it, Colonel 6 one out. Oh, now that works. Why didn't that work earlier? Oh, Jesus! Okay. Sure, why the fuck not? That was a lot of shots to take down that one robot. Some health, and I can't take grenades because apparently I'm full up on them already. Oh, okay, it looks like the, I, my pistol here actually has infinite ammo. So no matter what, I don't actually run out. Okay, so I can lock in place. I was hoping this was a lock in place and move, but I guess not. I just like that sound effect, I'm sorry. Nice, I can even take cover behind these crates. <laughs> well, I, I wonder if I should go back for those grenades then. Well, we're gonna come back here eventually. I'll just, I'll leave them there for now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! That's bad. That's very bad. So you don't need to know anything about the Aliens movies to, to watch or play this. 
But just know that the aliens are are serious business. To put it bluntly, they're they're rough to deal with. Command, I reached a data transmission control room and uploaded the map data to my PCS. Good job, Marine. We're synchronizing the map data with the mainframe right now. There, you should be able to access the Sulaco schematics now by touching the map icon on the touchscreen. Oh no, I think I'm trapped in here. Don't worry, Private. Now that we are synced, we can remotely take out uh, take the Sulaco out of lockdown. There, the door should be open now. Neat. <laughs> Whistler moving out. Can't tell if I hate this guy or love this guy. Before you go, I want you to mark your position using one of your flares. Why? Don't question orders, son! <laughs> the players transmit a GPS signal that we can monitor and upload to your PCS. You can use them to mark locations and easily navigate back to them using your PCS map. Uh, drop a flare now so I can initialize the tracking. Is that fast travel? You notice that the flare now appears on the map. Mark areas of interest to help you find your way back quickly. Now, head up. Oh, okay, no, it's just it's pins on your map. Yes, sir. Six one out, sir. All right. This is oh, this is a sizable map. At least it marks off save rooms. Come on, this door still won't open. Hmm, should be accessible. Try again. Oh wait, sir, this door's been welded shut. How did anyone weld the door shut? I don't know, Whistler. Maybe you should ask the survivor when you've reached them. Get back to task and find that life form. Sorry, Colonel. Sir, I'm on my way. Okay, we're back here now. Let's finish exploring over here. Oh shit! That sucks. Oh shit! Well, guess what I'm gonna go back and get now. Oof, not even a full heal. Can you fan the pistol to greater effect than the rifle? Something tells me no, because the, the, the rifle's automatic. So I'll stay right now. This is a blind playthrough for me, but unlike Bloodstained, I don't mind getting help on this one. I, I literally was just being that particular about Bloodstained. So if you know this game better than I do, I am willing to take some help. But otherwise, like, just don't tell me, like, yeah, use this move specifically at this point. You know what to do. Stan standard rules. Uh, how do I... There we go, that's how I turn off the map. If you want me to try the pistol... It's not terrible, but I'm gonna assume the damage is bad. Yeah, that's like 18 shots. I think we're better off sticking with this. All right, so we need a wrench, an old-fashioned key. Uh, it looks like like an O2 tank and a car battery. Oh shit! <laughs> John, you have to slice the moon with your knife trick. Oh boy. Oh, they're starting the spooky music. It's spooky time. Nope, can't blow that up either. Alright. Oh shit! I got that guy's attention though!
We're totally gonna lose him, aren't we? He's gonna be the first one we lose, hands down. What, what is the point of those? Am I even hitting it? Fuck it. Fuck you. We're, we're in such trouble right now, man. This is bad. So someone dropped a wrench down into this vent, but I can't reach it with the crane and with this crate in the way. Can you move the crate at all? Negative star is too heavy. I'll let it for now. Six one out. There's something else there too. Can I get him back to a save point in time? I wonder. I'm gonna see since I don't want to just start losing characters right away. Look like I got a poop. Watch well, there be a robot right in front of the save save room. I'm almost expecting it. Nope, we're safe. Alright. Let's save all that hot, hot progress. And then go send him to his death again. Uh, I can open this now. Might as well see where it leads. Oh good, this isn't on our map. Oh, even better! Oh, we've made so many mistakes. Oh, I should super not be here. Oh my gosh. Private, what is that? I'm not making it out. It's more of that sticky resin stuff. It's everywhere. Don't touch anything. Sir, I'm getting a little worried. What's going on here? I'm not sure, Private. I've sent images from your camera to S2 for analysis when I know you'll know, but until then, just stay on mission, Private. Command out. Come back. Okay, that's just a big heal, basically. So we know where a big heal is when we need it. Can I roll mid-air? I'm gonna assume not, but that'd be really neat if I could. Let's find out. Nope. They did think of that. Were there any other vents that looked like... Yeah, there we go. There's one. Whistler's fucking doomed. Whistler's fucking doomed. Well, still ready to go at any point, I guess. He stops running for some reason. I can't tell if it's just my right button is bad or if it's just like when I get in the zone of certain or near certain things. It stops me. Oh right, stamina, duh. Fuck. Keep forgetting. I even saw that earlier, because I was rolling and I noticed it did decrease a bunch, and I didn't even click that that's why I was not running. 
Uh, those were the only two vents I could do right now, right? No, there's one more. Oh, that ain't that ain't opening anytime soon. Yuck! There's something sticky all over this door. It's sealed shut. Hmm. Can you break loose at all? No, sir. It won't budge. I guess I'll go around. Good idea, Private. Keep moving. Oh my God! Jumping does lower stamina. I guess that makes sense. Still a bummer. Why is that cat back up there again? Do I know when the alien shows up? No, and I actually kind of don't want to know if that one makes sense. I kind of want to be surprised on that one. Wow, I, I'm not hitting him. None of those shots hit for some reason. I think it's the doorway that's fucking it up. Oh shit. Yeah, it's definitely the doorway that was fucking that up. Weird, that doesn't bode well for us. <laughs> Wister might also just suck at shooting, that's also entirely possible. He hasn't exactly instilled a lot of confidence in us. There's an ammo crate. Can't get that. Can get this. Yeah, something about the doorway was fucking it up. Let's go look in the vent. This is a long vent. All that for nothing, huh? I'll give him this. Way forward put like the the music pretty well on this one. It's pretty tense. Duly noted, I cannot jump and shoot at the same time. What? Hang on. Yo, can we... Can we can... Why can't they pick up this ammo anymore? Oh, it's a different type of ammo. They're missiles. Or explosive rounds, at least. <laughs> Jump or shoot, man. Exactly. Save room? Save room! Unfortunately, that respawns the robots again. Oh, 
Oh, I see a red dot. That red dot's back where the our ship was, though. That must just be the marker for the ship. Actually, I think it's the way I have to go, because I do not have any other way to go. Huh. Wasn't I... That's my flare? Oh, shit, you're right. Why did I think the flare was up there, then? All right, I never finished going to... No, I can't... What? Where am I... Hold up. I clearly missed something. Let's let's uh, let's test out those new uh, those missiles. Okay, I like them. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right, so we shouldn't be afraid to use those, at least at the beginning here. No, I don't want to mess with you, though. I assume I can't blow these up. Nope. I don't want to be wasting those right now, considering what we're going to have to deal with later. Because this is well the... Oh, yeah, there we go, up top. That's the area we didn't go. Can these open doors? They can. Can a different character push the crate? I'm pretty sure I know what is going to move the crate. I'm pretty sure it's the, the exoskeleton. Ah, the spooky bathroom. Where am I on the map now? Still can't get that. Something up there we can get. Commander, I found an ME3 hand welder. I can cut those welded doors open now. Good news. To weld the door open or shut, stand next to it and touch the weld button on the touchscreen. Thank you, sir. Six one out. All right, before checking that vent. Okay. T Ooh, that takes a bit. We got. Man, I found an M three one four motion tracker. Of course. It's beat up, but I think it'll still work. Patching into your PCS, good. You should be able to track that life form now. It'll appear on your map as a yellow icon. Follow that icon and complete the mission. Ooh. Ooh, it even beeps, it even beeps. Such a bad idea. Assume we can't weld those open or shut. Nope. Did I? Hold on. It, uh... It welded the door shut that was already stuck shut. <laughs> just ignored the goo and just yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna close this door. I'm gonna close this door. I don't like this door. So if you see the green light off, that means it's also welded shut. Oh, good. I can just turn off the motion tracker if it gets annoying. Thank God. 
Oh, but it's showing even where the robots are on the map. That's actually kind of nice. What was up there? More... More, uh, rocket shots. I mean, I guess it is a motion tracker, so I guess that checks out. Are you sure you want to turn the tracker off in this game? Later, we're going to probably want to. Well, maybe not want to, but later we will. But for now, definitely not. Where are those robots spawning from? Yeah! Dramatic pose! Okay, let's find some welded doors. Alright, we got something in this room. He's gonna be the cat again? Nope, it's an alien! Motherfucker, shoot it! Jesus. That's a lot of hits. They're supposed to be tough, so I'm not shocked. Oh boy. Come in, please come in, come in! What is a private? Did you see that monster? It was <laughs> horrible. Pull yourself together, Private. I'm trying, Colonel. Where's the survivor? Are they secure? That girl ran off. She dropped this level two access key card. Okay, Whistler, calm down. The signal's moving. I'm going to pinpoint her location. Sir, I don't think I can go after her. Did you see that thing? Damn it, Private. You can and you will. You are a United States colon uh, Colonial Marine. Do you read me? Yes, sir. You're right, sir. I can do this. Sorry. Oh, problem I'm receiving reports from Delta and Echo teams. What? No! Fox 6, the other fire teams are under attack by those creatures, too. Mr. Private, I need you to find that life form and get back to the dropship ASAP. I'm marking your location on the map. I'll be assisting Delta and Echo, so contact me with any further developments. Command out. Uh, we're fucked. Oh my god, that's a lot of motion readings below. Oh, thank god. Marine, identify yourself. Oh, she's cute. Oh, hey, I'm Amber. I mean, uh, PFC Fisher. Are you alone? Where's your fire team? I assume they're still around here somewhere, unless they ditched me or, or they're dead. If they did ditch me, then they'll wish they, they were dead. Regardless, I'm hanging out here until I receive new orders. You sure? You can hook up with us. Hook up? Sorry, not interested. I've got some extra ammo and med kits here if you need them, though. Thanks. Let me know if you change your mind. So as you've probably realized, we'll be finding other characters around on the map. And oh. Bad idea theater. Oh shit. Oh, very bad idea theater. Oh no. Get the fuck out of there. All right, well, good news. Amber's safe. Steer clear. <laughs> I'm a little busy right now, Commander. Commander, please, not right now. I can't even get the rest. They're 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 just gonna be down there. Amber, you might want to move. You might want to run. Uh. 
Oh, wait, I thought I... Didn't she drop? Oh, I never picked... No, no, don't weld it! Stop it! I never picked it up. There we go. That's a lot of motion over there. Hmm. I do want me to go get her, so I probably should. Even if I'm gonna regret it. Stop in for a quick heal. What's the point of welding doors? I'm assuming uh, at some point something bad happens and we're gonna wanna do that. Let's bring up Paulson. Hoorah! I'm gonna assume. Oh, wait, hang on now. Uh, no, okay, good, my equipment is still the same. Good. Just a bit worried about that. Speaking of worried. Oof, okay. Yep, from here on out, they're they're just they're just around now. Oh, they're in the vents. Oh boy, this is gonna be a treat. Did I know that the end dialogue changes based on who you finish with? Yeah, I heard something about that. It makes sense since there's like permadeath, essentially. I'm gonna actually switch to my explosive rounds. Grab that too, but I think I got two vent guys to worry about there, yeah. Shit, shit, shit. Okay, that works. We are definitely not getting through this game with every character. We're gonna lose so many, I can already tell. Okay, uh, that is in the vent, so I have no idea what to do there. Oh, now I do. Boy, am I gonna regret that. Oh, fuck right off, really? Man. So the lights are out in here, it's too dark to see anything! Turn around, Moraine, it's too dangerous to continue this way without a lamp! Cool command. But, but hop in that vent, soldier! Hop in and have the time of your life! That's so many dots! Get back! Oh, is it a chest burster time? You okay, Marine? Hurry, get out of here! It's all right, devil dog, we got you. No, it's, it's inside, no! Chest burster, ooh! I got it. What the hell is up with there we go. Oh. It's weird, the gun seems to just randomly get blocked by stuff. I don't quite get it. So rude. There we go. I def desperately needed that. We 
past the tracker. It's below us, okay. We gotta loop around. Or break our legs. Oh, we aren't winning that fight. Guess what? We're losing our first guy. Come on, we got a man down. I lost vital six one. They're gone. You need to keep going, Marine. Don't let their death be for nothing. I understand, Command six one out. Somehow it wasn't Whistler that died first, and I only switched because someone. Oh, oh my God! Oh, I didn't expect it to literally put me here. Oh God! Fucking Whistler lives. Can I break those? No, I can. It's just doing that stupid thing again. Whistler somehow just casually killed the queen. But it's what we had to do, because I couldn't make any progress. Fox 6, come in, Private Whistler, do you copy? Over. I can't believe I'm still alive. Neither can I. Whistler, what's going on? I need to sit rep now. I think I just killed the queen. Are you, are you sure it's dead? I think so, sir. I'm not sure. I, I just want to go home. Listen to me very carefully, Private. We need to get off this ship and reassess the situation. Delta and Echo teams are reporting casualties and are falling back as well. Secure the prisoner and get back to the hangar ASAP. I'll prep the, the Cheyenne for immediate dust off. We are leaving. Okay, Command, I'm on my way. Listen up, Marines. The secret squirrels beat the tree you brought back and knocked loose a couple of acorns. Seems the UPP found the Sulaco adrift and sent our friend Eve and some of her commando buddies aboard to scrounge up any intel they could. They found the ship's android and downloaded his memory files. These included events relating to the USCM mission to LV-426 detailing the loss of 2nd Battalion Bravo team at the hands of these xenomorphs. Eve also revealed that the UPP have set up a recovery operation on LV-426 to harvest these creatures. We cannot allow that to happen. In response, we are launching a multi-pronged attack on the encampment. Fox 6 will be responsible for uh, disabling their radar and celestial defense weapons prior to the main attack. Explosive satchel charges will need to be planted on the radar dish as well as each of the BP-33 AAC guns. Plant the charges, make safe distance, then blow them. Avoid detection at all costs. Once the base... This is a lot. Once the base is alerted to our presence, it'll be a real S-storm getting out of there. Any questions? Do we know what those things are yet, sir? You said you knew it was a queen. What the fuck? I haven't got a clue. We're on the horn with S2 since the situation has begun. I can't get a clear answer. If anyone knows, they aren't talking. All I can tell you is that for sure they are deadly. If you encounter those creatures again, give them no quarter, men. No quarter. Anything else? What about the Sulaco? What happens to the ship now? At the present, specialized teams of military and contracted workers are boarding the ship to analyze, recover, and repair. If there are any survivors, marine, or otherwise, they will be dealt with. Is that all? Yes, sir. This one's big, Marines. You've been chosen because you've proven yourselves at, at heart. Blah. Yourselves as hard change. I can't read. You've been chosen because you've proven yourselves as hard chargers time and time again. I know you must be shaken up after what you've seen of on the Sulaco, but I assure you I am looking into everything personally. You can do this. Good luck. Easy for you to say.
Where the fuck are we? As Yo. Johnson, I'd like you to take point on this mission. Roger that command. Fox 6 proceeding. 6 1 out. Hey, I don't have any map to go with. Yeah, this is a different location. Man, this is 6-1. Fox 6 has reached the UPP compound and are awaiting orders. Over. Great job, Fox 6. Your first order of business should be to get to a NAVDAT terminal and sync up our map data. Local command, Johnson out. I mean, this looks pretty dilapidated. Fighting actual people. That can take a lot of bolts, apparently. Jesus. There we go. More cover shooting. Honestly, that went better. Sadly. I tried cover grenade. It did not work. I had a feeling that was going to be a big explosion. I feel like I made a lot of progress before even finding this a map. I guess that works too. Maybe the robots don't seem to mind. There we go. Southeast of your current location is the first target, the BP-33 Celestial Defense Gun. Plant the explosives at the base of it and get the hell out of there. Oh boy. It's an awfully big map. Ah, shit. I think I have match. No, Johnson, no visible light. I knew I should have gotten you TN TNAs for this operation, or TNRs. Look, it's too dangerous to enter without an area without a TNR lamp equipped first. See if you can acquire one on site. UPP will, the UPP use them too. All right, can't go that way yet. Let's backtrack a little. The one thing I do appreciate is the motion tracker just straight up like being like, all right, you don't have any enemies to worry about, just go. Ooh, what's this? Nice, I found an M3, M37A2 combat shotgun. Too bad it's out of ammo. I'm sure you'll find some shells in any of those communication stations. They always have a stockpile of munitions in those rooms. Good idea, sir. Six one out. All right, how do I use said shoddy when I do get the ammo for it? It's not even on my list. Guess I need the ammo first.
And I guess this room doesn't count for... No, it doesn't. Damn it. If it wasn't empty, the original owner wouldn't be dead. <laughs> Not necessarily wrong, I guess. Alright. Can't go that way either. Amazing how he gets to shoot instantly upon standing up. Like, there's not even, like, an animation. It's just up and instantly shooting. Good thing I can shoot behind cover. People making fun of that for the colonel for saying moonbeam. Dude, just really like Sailor Moon, alright? That is a lot of lights. And that would be why. That, that is a sound they are making. That does legally qualify as a sound. And I hate it. This is going to be an interesting playthrough, I can already tell. This game is actually pretty neat. Need moonbeam power. All right, we got an alien in the vents, and I did not notice I need to reload. Are you shitting me? Ah, piss! Come on. Time for more of this! I think this is the part I hate the least. Or, uh, sorry, sorry, uh, like the least, rather. The cover based attacking there. Not the best. Like, even Gears of War, is, which is very much a cover-based shooter, is not this slow with, with cover battles. That one's locked too, huh? Shit. Oh, that's what I fucking need, too. I need that health. We're totally gonna lose our character again, aren't we? It's starting to feel like it. Oh boy! That looks neat, though. What is that? I want it. Really wish I could attack on ladders. <laughs> kind of a bummer that I can't. Oh, that's that sucks. Oh, this is a lamp. Okay, we've got a light, finally. Something that isn't immediately clear from the gameplay. Are you forced into cover? Can't you just hop onto the box and shoot the guy on the other side? I have to press a button to get into cover. 
Uh, and his shots... I tried doing that earlier, where I just stood on top of the box and aimed down. He knocked me back. So, uh, I also don't have enough health to, to, like, experiment like that right now. I also can't jump and shoot at the same time, which is also a problem. Alright, we got a lamp. Which ain't gonna do shit here, I guess. Ah, crap. Yeah, so I have to press A to get into cover now. And in cover, I can only use the machine gun. And I can't just combo him like that. He gets to duck back down. Oh, shit. Oh. Well, that could have been really bad. Can I switch characters when I'm outside the safe room? No, it has to be in a safe room. Can I throw a grenade from Crouch? Yes, but it, I roll the shot. It does not go forward. We need to get back to that... ...to a safe room right now. If we're, gonna, we're so far away from one, though. Shit. There's only one motion. It's probably not the best idea because I just realized how low on ammo I am. Oof. Probably gonna regret this. Is this game actually fun or is it a looks can be deceiving thing like Metal Gear Rising? Uh, I mean, I'm having fun so far. But it's definitely a slow burn at the moment. Ah, shit, really? There, that's that's what happens if I throw a grenade when I'm ducking. Is this the area that had healing items? No, oh, it has a face hugger, so I guess there's that. What's this? I found a weapon upgrade kit. Great. Installation of the up upgrade kit increases the effectiveness of your weapon. The upgrade will always be applied to your currently selected weapon, and each weapon can support up to three upgrade conversions. Got to command this one out. All right, neat, but what did that do? <laughs> it's plus one to my machine gun. So at least there's that. Does that just mean I do more damage now? Seems to be the case. And yeah, just, and just to say earlier, because now that I think about it, yeah, I liked Metal Gear Rising. I just got really frustrated at dumb things. I still think that cutting mechanic sucks. It's you're gonna you're gonna have the fight you're gonna have the fight to convince me otherwise on that. But, the, like, other than that one boss fight, like, that game was fun. What fight? Uh, God, I can never remember the fuck. Sundowner, I think, was his name? The dude with the shields. The, the one fight that depends on the cutting mechanic, basically. Yeah, a lot of people are saying Sundowner. It does seem like I'm killing things faster. 
Sundowner sucks, not an unpopular opinion. That's fair. I liked Sundowner's character. I just hated that fight. Because I fucking hate that cutting mechanic. <laughs> But again, that that's a me thing. Don't worry about it. That game is generally well well respected, so I can have I can have off opinions every now and then. The cutting mechanic is good when you don't have to do fucking precise perfect cuts. Yes. The irony the irony of that whole situation was me doing that fight, getting extremely pissed off, and then getting so mad I actually shut up completely. You can just hear, like, the anger in my voice, and then just the, vi the fight's done perfectly right after that. That's the frustrating thing about it the most, I think. Oh, hey, yeah, there we go. Oh, so the, it is the rack that we get the switch guns on. 60 shotgun shells. Sweet. For cutting, did you happen to cut by flicking the cuts across the control stick or just by letting go of the stick once you were angled? Uh, I was using the buttons at first, because it was just faster, but the, the buttons don't cut the perfectly to where you line things up. They're a general suggestion, and they kind of waver up and down. And then it was uh, doing full cuts with the stick, and then it was trying half cuts. I forget which one worked better. To this day, that is the angriest I've ever seen you live. Uh, that probably checks. Yeah, the Armstrong fights were way more forgiving. And I even, I, I even, I don't know if I showed it on stream or if I showed it on Twitter. Uh, I compared. Yeah, I think it was on Twitter. I showed pictures of what the cut requirements were on the uh, Armstrong fight, and you could miss by a lot, and it was still giving. It was super forgiving in the Armstrong fight. Like, I literally, like, there were four squares you had to cut. I cut two and it gave it to me. Like, that's how lenient it was compared to Sundowner, where it's like, all right, you're off by, like, a micro fraction. You're off by, like, a, an angle, per, like, a one degree. I remember the stream with Splatoon 2 where you had technical difficulties. Which one? The fire alarm one? The smoke detector one? That one sucked. I should probably be using my... Oh, I hope this is gonna work. Oh, this sucks. Just so you can see that this is a bad idea. Just so you can see that how bad of an idea that is. The one where you were playing Salmon Run and got salty. Oh, right! That was the one That was the one where we were going to do the uh, chicken and egg uh, splatfest. And everything went to hell, and I couldn't get live until, like, the very end of the splatfest. And then uh, someone said something in chat that set me off, and I don't remember what the fuck it was. It was it was something like that. I, I vaguely remember that. Yeah, I think it was like someone like on purpose like riling me up when I was already very visibly in a bad mood. It was something like that. Oh, yes! Oh my god! Oh no, I remember! Yeah! Someone said, can't take a joke, John. And I I remember... Listen, motherfucker. I remember doing that. It's all coming back to me now. This is not good things to remember. <laughs> this, these are not good things to remember. <laughs> Anytime, anytime I take the listen, motherfucker, no tone. I know, I know things have gone bad. <laughs> That's the point where I know there's no turning back at this point. We we're just we're off the rails completely. What the fuck is? What is this sprite? Is he? 
stretching his arm? Does he have a drill implanted in his face? Is that a giant rifle? It might be a giant rifle. Howdy, partner. What are you doing here, Marine? Oh, he's drinking. Old in position, but I don't think my team's coming back now. We can uh, fold you into our fire team, Sergeant. What's your name? Sergeant J. Hynek, or Hennick. Reckon I'll join up with you all. I'm looking for a little payback, if you know what I mean. Hoorah, let's move. Oh yeah, you're right, he is drinking. It just looked really odd. He disappeared into the ether. Alright, there we go, we got our fourth character back. I remember Final Fantasy 4 Job Fiesta, you got mad. Yeah. That's the shitty- I- I mean, like, I hate getting mad. I honest to God do. But man, like, sometimes, like, you just get worn down and it just happens. It's a fucking bummer. But it happens, man. The problem is, like, uh, as as someone who's front-facing online, I have to be better, to put it bluntly. I should be better. You know what? I have a, uh, I have a question before I... I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? Yeehaw. If I switch to my machine gun, is that still... Okay, good. The plus one carries over no matter what. Neat. Boxing Day 2019, Crash Bandicoot triggered your rage, I remember. Uh, Lilith, you didn't, you didn't, bug, you didn't make me mad during Bloodstained, uh, but there were definitely some points where, uh, some questions got asked in chat where I'm like, why are you asking this question? Why? Like, like the time that I thought someone literally was asking, like, hey, do you want me to tell you how to defeat the boss you're about to fight? I'm like, no. And it turns out that was just a misunderstanding, thank God. But there was very much like a, why, what? What do you, do? what is wrong with this situation right now? I gotta say, you hold anger a lot better than most. Like, really, uh, times it happens on stream are so little. I mean, because I've, I've had years of, like, trying to fucking mitigate that shit. I have outlets. I have healthy outlets for, for stuff like that. But sometimes it just happens. And I hate that some, that when it happens, it's on stream. I would rather have none, to be perfectly honest. I know I'm not the perfect person. Not even fucking close. Uh... All oh, right, we never got the key card, but we got the lamp. That's what it was. Uh, but like, I, I would, I would much rather not have any like explosions. Like uh, the VOD channel now, for to use it as an as an example, is starting to get to a couple VODs that I remember being mad during. There was uh, the one where we banned Sonic on stream for a while because Sonic fans were just chewing me out for something really fucking stupid. Uh, there was the one where. Uh, what was the game we were playing? Panzer Maidens, I think it was. I think that one's really soon. Where everyone got mad at the way I was pronouncing things, and I just hit a last straw and slammed my laptop shut. Just yeah, super mad. When did those happen? 2016, 2017? Somewhere in that range. Wait, Sonic Ban. Oh, man. Oh, man. Some people don't remember that. Uh, Sonic was actually banned from Cookie for a while. So, uh, Sonic fans, uh, we were playing Sonic Generations for, uh, 3DS, I think it was. And, uh, we were playing songs, I think it was, in the jukebox. And someone said, play, I, I think they said, play Sonic Boom. And I think, I misunderstood that as play something from the game Sonic Boom and not the song Sonic Boom from Sonic Racing. Or no, sir, from Sonic CD. And uh, I was like, no, that game, no, this game came out before Sonic Boom. Sorry. And then a bunch of people in the chat were like, "You motherfucker! You, we met the game. You, you stupid dumbass!" Like they got like actually mad. I was like, "What the fuck? All right, well, I have no patience right now. So fuck y'all. Sonic's banned. If you're gonna be that uppity, no, no more Sonic on stream." 
So this is why you guys have probably heard me constantly like take shots at Sonic fans or the Sonic fandom. That is why of shit because of shit like that. Wait, where did I? Hold on. Uh. Yes, there. That's what we didn't do. Shit, that needed the lamp. As a Sonic fan, that checks out. I mean, not all... So, it... This is the shitty thing about fandoms in general. Uh, there's always gonna be people who take something too far or too seriously. I mean, we've... We, even we've had problems with that before with other people. But, like, um... Man, I don't know what it is specifically about, uh... Certain fandoms that just... Know how to press the wrong buttons, basically. Have we hit break time? Uh, yeah, well, we we started this game late, so we've only been playing this game for about an hour and 15 minutes, I think it is. Because I think it was 25 minutes when I turned on the game. Uh, which means we would have about 10 minutes before break. Oh, shit. Oh, I guess that makes sense. It's a shotgun. I gotta reload it shell by shell, but fuck. Doesn't mean I have to like it. Does this game have a reload button? I don't know. I have been wondering that same thing. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck! <laughs> I don't know why I keep thinking X is the reload button, or is the operate button. I guess that was faster than cover. <laughs> sure, why not? What the fuck? How are these shots missing? Wow, okay, that sucked. Ow. What the fuck? Why did that... What, what was up with the shots there? There is a naked man up there. We found the showers. Hey, buddy, hand me that towel, would you? Fucking course. You don't know what I had to do to get, had to go through to get it. There you go. Don't mind me just walking through your shower. Bye. You get to live for now. That also implies he was showering in the dark, which is a little weird. All right, let's go to the save point. Saved. Perfect. According to IGN Wiki, touchscreen should have a reload button. Oh my god, it's tap on the touchscreen. Tap on the gun on the touchscreen to reload the gun.
Oh, actually, it doesn't have to be the gun itself. It's just in... It's just in the area in general. I Yeah, oh, here we go. It's just in this area in general. It, like, if I touch tap on the gun or tap on this empty space, it'll reload. I would much rather it be a button. Like, I don't think select is doing anything. But we found it. That's the important thing. What was the message I just got? As a former sailor, showering in the dark is a needed thing when the power fails. Water still works and you still need to get clean. Uh, I guess that makes sense. Ah! Select is apparently change explosives. Ah, that also makes sense. Let's drop some eggs. Kanito 1377, Captain Joe, Shade Durgan 97, Mistwing 608, Bondorito, Shade again, and Bramnet. Thank you all for the gift subs and gift sub bombs. Fury of Zeus, 56765, thank you for the new sub. Everyone else, thank you all for subbing. The Lottie, holy shit. You all have been around for a long time. Thanks for subbing, everybody. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following. Oh, right. Ooh, ooh, sorry, yeah. Uh, first off, yes, your eggs are courtesy of the following people. Secondly, we're gonna try something different tonight. Uh, we had a talk. We were we had a mod meeting of sorts uh, yesterday, and we were talking about eggs in general. And uh, we came to the conclusion of this: we're not yeah mod meeting in quotation marks. It was really just me playing Pacross while uh while we were just kind of just chatting and also playing games. Uh, we came up with a discussion about this: we're not gonna get rid of eggs for now. Uh, they're gonna stay. We're gonna they're gonna stay, but. One thing we are going to do from here on out is we are only going to play per break one egg per submitter. So we have a couple people that tend to submit like a lot of eggs a night. We're going to cut that down to one per break. So uh, to, to put this into perspective right now, one user has four egg sounds they're sitting on right now and another has uh, five that they submitted. So for 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 variety's sake, uh, we're gonna we're gonna cut down on that a bit. Yeah. So if you submit one egg per stream, you have nothing to worry about. Or if you even submit two eggs, because we take like minimum two, it breaks a stream. You're fine. <laughs> That's fair, but I still worry about the four now. Well, I mean, okay. Here's the thing. We still gotta worry about if we keep getting eggs that are gonna break D DMCA. That's just something we have to worry about, but like, we're, we're just gonna keep with, you know, being careful with things, basically. That's all we can do. Alright, which means, let's start the eggs. This one from Still, uh, do you have my egg? So I still need that- Egg! I have something new to offer you. Is it a an egg? What are you looking to buy? An egg! No an egg. Yay! Uh, from Red Nexella, <laughs> this is not gonna make any sense unless you were here on Saturday stream. You will give me honks and words interpreted as notes. You will give me an. Uh, give me a second. I have to do a volume setting on this one before I play it. You'll you'll thank me for this one. Uh, for doing that. From Yuki Mizuno. Crazy bus countermeasures.
You probably saw how low the volume slider was just then. <laughs> Be glad that wasn't at full volume. <laughs> Zandoji with Duke gets his barbecue Pringles stuck in sour cream and onion. Damn, my Pringles is stuck in sour cream and onion. It's BB. Uh. <laughs> I like how it's not BBQ, it's BB. Ooh. <laughs> Thanks, Sendoshi. BB. Ooh. Wolf Boy with. What the fuck? <laughs> Wolf Boy with negative got stuck. Damn, my massive forearm is stuck in a can of sour cream and onion Pringles. Please send help. I like how you were just zooming more and more on the pecs on that one. Just, just going to town on that. Sometimes this community puts the fear of God in me. <laughs> See, that's that's the mistake. God's not here. <laughs> Pantero with feeling fine. Uh, what do you think, Wesker? All I need is a title. <laughs> I was thinking along the lines of no Jason! and no Agibus! make <laughs> home or something something. Give me an egg. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> <laughs> No chainsaw, no hockey mask. Perfect. God hasn't been here since you first threw that girl off the water slide. Look, Tina's fine. She might have some some uh, severe bruising, maybe some broken body parts, but she's fine. She's a fighter. She's used to it. She, she breaks legs all the time. Sometimes her own. Game fan with someone help Duke Nukem. This party's getting crazy. Let's rock. Damn, my massive forearm is stuck in a can of sour cream and onion Pringles. Please, send help. Weird that that's on a jukebox. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go to break. I'm gonna grab some cocoms, and when we come back... Art block and continuing aliens infestation. See you guys in a bit. Hey, there's, there it is! Oh, sorry. What am I thinking? Where did this meme come from? I think it's it, I think it's been almost exclusively game fan submitting it. I say almost exclusively because I know that someone else also did it at some point. Or do you mean the Duke Nukem one? If you mean the Duke Nukem one, that was like Wednesday. <laughs> What is Tina? What are they talking about? Okay, so a long time ago. We're talking... 2015? 2014, 2015. Oh shoot, no, it was earlier than that. It was actually, I think it was 2013. Uh, I streamed Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball 2. And we found the water slide in that game. And thus, our poor girl Tina believe that she could fly. She believed she could touch the sky. She thought about it every night and day. She spread her wings and crashed into the hillside. It was really tragic. There's a clip on YouTube, Reese was on CoCom. Yeah, so it, originally we were supposed to be do, it was for her, she was doing a charity stream for uh, breast cancer. For, uh, I can't remember what group it was. I don't think it was BCRF, but it was like, it was a breast cancer charity uh, fund. And uh, we ended up just doing it in a cookie, in a, in a cookie stream, and uh, it's a thing. We put it on YouTube, but I believe also the YouTube version is blocked in a couple countries because we specifically use R. Kelly's I Believe I Can Fly in it. And also, the soundtrack to Dead or Live Extreme 2 is also very copyright. But, uh, it was funny. It was really funny. <laughs> that was back when we weren't actually just completely connected to boobs. And yet, somehow, completely were. It's kind of impressive, honestly. Life comes at you fast. What am I thinking? 
How many houses ago was that? Uh, two, because it would have been the townhouse, and then it would have been the apartment, which is where it actually happened. But it was when I first moved in the apartment. I was there for two years. Yeah, we were in the apartment for two years, and we were in the townhouse for three and a half. And we've been here for a year and a half. <laughs> the boobs were always there, John. They're eternal. Ah, they were just, they were growing inside of me. And now they've escaped. I would say that during an Aliens playthrough, wouldn't I? I'm out. <laughs> I'll see you guys after the break. I mean, that is kind of how they work, eh, I guess. A different type of chest burster. hey -o. I think that's called the bra burster instead. Why am I still entertaining this? I'm gone. <sighs> All right.
<laughs> oh, what the fuck, man? Uh, John, if your boobs escape, do they grow little nipple legs and run off making Mr. Krabs walking noises? <laughs> no. No, they did not. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, I guess we did make the chest burster comment, so there you go. Why is that so specific? Because they're literally just describing like the chest bursters from from <laughs> from the aliens movies, but they're also relating it. To, it's got to be a little bit comical. So <laughs> also, don't draw that for the art block because you're probably not gonna get that shown. Remember, no nipples, <laughs> no nipples in art block. As I have said in the past, I absolutely do not give a shit what you draw off stream and off the Buru. Just know that, that we do have to follow some some semblance of rules here. You know someone out there has a chestburster kink, it is the internet. Oh yeah, no, that, that's that's super obvious. It's the same people who like uh, popping and stuff like that. They're usually related. We have rules? Shockingly, yes. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, don't Google, don't Google that, by the way, that's, shit's dangerous. What have we become now? I'm not even sure anymore. Hey, Pop. Popsky four Pete in the building. You went for the four Pete. Hello, chat. <laughs> I can't believe it. What am I not Googling? Exactly. Exactly. You got it. Generally, if John says don't Google it, there's a justifiable reason. Or, you know, safe search on. I spent... I've spent too much time growing up in the, like... In all the expansion and kink communities at this point. That it's just, like... It, I'm just so numb to things that I don't even think about it. And then when it comes... When it's, like, audibly said or, like, mentioned in chat, I'm like, Nope, don't! Don't! Don't do that! Yeah, it's been a while since I've been on Colcom. Has it? I thought it was two weeks. I thought you were on for uh, part of Bloodstained, weren't you? No. No, oh, then I guess it was Allison. Never mind. Same here, by the way. <laughs> yes, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. Totally. Been three thousand years, as Mile put it. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't come on here enough. Yeah, no. totally. You definitely. That's, that's why we haven't joked with the four Pete at all or anything like that. Might as well just uh, make me permanent. 
Yeah. <laughs> you're, just, you're just the permanent slot. <laughs> I like how we we were joking about this yesterday because we weren't sure what was going to win. My bet was actually that Crackdown 3 was going to be the winner. Uh, So Popsky and I were both like, yeah, like let's just do a co-op playthrough of, of Crackdown. So I, I installed it and everything. Uh, and then I instead, I, I played Hot Pursuit. <laughs> I I'm like, I gotta install this. Let me get it ready. Oh man, Hot Pursuit Remaster. I'm gonna play that instead. <laughs> I honestly never know what's going to win. And it's my site, so that should tell you. Yeah, who is this John guy? What are you doing on my stream? Oh my god, don't even start. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised he has not made that joke yet. This was his chance. He did it. He went for it. I'll give him that. Alright, let me get Art Block all shuffled and ready to go. You know, now that it's your channel, Pops, you know what's going to happen. People are going to gender bend you. You know that hasn't happened yet. Well, that's because I've specifically I've specifically told the artists don't do it unless they give permission. <laughs> that's what I've said 100%. about. One hundred percent. All right, there you go. Popsky gives permission. I've uh, permission stated granted. I've stated specifically like don't gender bend like my friends unless they specifically say it. Because we have a tendency to go overboard here, if you've not noticed. <laughs> you can make me a Hydra if you want. <laughs> Dude, what is it with the Hydra thing? <laughs> oh, totally Jules would say yes. Oh, Jules has already said yes. Jules, Jules already said yes. Jared has already said yes. Emil even said yes, shockingly enough. Uh, I wonder I was actually surprised on. I was too. Uh, I think those are the only three that have technically said yes. I mean, so Reese has also said yes to being drawn as like male Bowser, uh, like a, like a male Bowser Reese hybrid. <laughs> she, we were in the car the other day. She's like, man, what do I have to do to get also drawn as like a as like a cross character like like you get? You get gender banned as Rosa all the time. Like like why don't I have one? I'm like you do. You're you're cross with Bowser. She's like. Perfect, but like no one draws it all the time. Like no one draws it. I'm like, yeah, people draw it over here. It's like, why? Well, I need, I need to say it on stream so it happens more often. I think she wants to be a super buff. She wants to be a super buff Bowser hybrid, which I know a couple of you have drawn. So, tell your wife I'm sorry. I don't have more time to draw Kubergen. I know Horizon. It's okay. I understand. We never force you to draw anyone. We just like it when you draw a period. Yeah, exactly. You don't have to draw big titty art. You don't have to do it. I'm just happy to see people drawing and enjoying the stream. All right, uh, let's read a couple quick donations and then uh, get to Art Block and get back to the game. And then I scrolled too far. Captain I might have Joe. made a mistake. What did you... Why? I typed in the chat, Buff Pop John. <laughs> what the fuck does that even mean? We're gonna be fused. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Fusion ho? Fusion ho. <laughs> Digging that hole, Pop, aren't you? Uh, let me know when you, hit the, when you hit China, Popski. All right. Captain Joe, uh, working and learning a new part of my department uh, the last day and a half. Nice. Slicing my finger on broken glass that I wasn't aware of in the case I was picking up and spent a few hours in urgent care getting a tetanus shot. Not nice. Yeesh. Hopefully you're okay, Joe. Uh, tetanus shot? It's not the worst thing. I mean, it's still not good that you would need one in the first place, but yeah, like, if you're getting- your finger gets sliced open, yeah, you might want that. Yeah, I've had- See, what was it, like, seven years ago? Picked up one of my, uh, dad's dogs, the other one. Bit the other one in jealousy, which 
cause that dog to want to bite my finger, which, uh, where you could actually see the bone, so we had to take me to the <laughs> ER. Uh, from Bleach Bummer, uh, so funny thing, the moment Aliens Infestation went on game clearing, I started playing Alien Isolation for my first time last night. Highly recommended Isolation so far, and Infestation looks interesting, if more action-based. Watch out for those facehuggers. Well, th so far, you know, it's just a quick time event to save yourself um, with that, so here's hoping it won't be too bad. I will say the Aliens in this is a lot m majorly nerfed compared to Alien Isolation. It's not an instant death if they find you. Or is it not? Uh, in uh, Alien Isolations, if the aliens find you, it, you're dead. In this one, not so much. Yeah, no, that's fair. Alright, uh, Homer says, uh, <laughs> You, that's nice. pretty much that's pretty much just the end of the the bit. Uh, the water slide says, "Excuse me, I still have mental mental scarring from that." No, that's not mental scarring. That's literal physical scarring from Tina slamming into the other end of the water slide. We put we put some divots in the water slide by accident. I apologize, water slide. <laughs> From Espionata, nothing like getting smacked by a nor'easter that dumped over a foot of heavy and wet snow that caused a power outage for 12 hours. Jesus. Uh, digging out Ouch. from that was so much fun, air quotes. Uh, the snow piles from the, the, from the plow is taller than me at five foot one. I hate winter. To be fair, I hate winter too, so don't worry. You're, you're, uh, you're not alone on that. Still says, well, looks like my reign of terror is finally over. Curses foiled again. I'm sorry, still. But this now this gives you this means you don't have the to rush out to get as many eggs as you want done. You can uh, take your time. Make the perfect egg. Bear says, How could you, John? I get into a game and you kill me. I thought we had something special. Uh, jokes aside, I'm less than four months from my BA degree in psychology. Yo, a chunk of time after that, and I get my masters. I can taste it now. Good luck, Bear. Hell yeah. All right, and with that, let's go to our block. Oops, no, that's fortune cookie. The state oh. of the art, art has happened. Art is here. There's Art's a lot of Pringles cans. Yeah, that's, dude. <laughs> so some people might not have seen this, but yesterday, uh, Juker did a bonus stream from the uh, the Breast Cancer Research Foundation stream we did in October. He did a Soul Calibur six stream, and we made Duke Nukem with his hand stuck in a can of sour cream and onion Pringles, and then proceeded to also make uh, the Pringles mascot because somehow, while we were on stream making Duke Nukem with his hand stuck, sorry, his massive forearm stuck in a can of sour cream and onion Pringles, John Oliver and Last Week Tonight put out a video talking about Pringles that had come out 20 minutes before we had started the stream. It was fucking weird. Anything around here is weird, but it's not like weird's a bad thing. True. That was a fucking strong-ass coincidence, though. From Bruce, from Bruce Pomegranate. Yeah, so I was playing up a cross-light game called Chimera Puzzle Island while I was watching the VOD for last Saturday's stream, and I was very surprised that John started playing Bacross while chat was playing Bacross while I was, myself, playing Bacross. So I just thought I'd make this short little edit. There you go. Just Bacross upon Bacross upon Bacross. Perfect. I was also playing Bacross. Everyone was Bacrossing. It was perfect. Next up. Bago, get off of Auntie Rosa so she can turn back to normal. <laughs> Onward, my noble steed. Just a funny idea I had after that donation last week. Something about Auntie Rosa being turned into a Roomba with Booba on it. A Booba Roomba Rosa. Hurts to say that. <laughs> Thanks, Kaze. Next up, Cosmic Spirit Rosa John and Rosa John DDS. Was in the mood to draw some Rosa Johns. First is a Cosmic Spirit variant because I've been playing Galaxy 2. As a variant of Rosalina, it only made sense. Second, because you played Plaque Attack. Uh, here is Rosa John DDS to remind us all to brush and floss. <laughs> 
Perfect. She finally got that <laughs> dental degree. It's perfect. Uh, as I write this, I realize this is the first time I've drawn Rosaron as something other than boobs coming out of a computer monitor. Well, there you go. You've 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 Question. branched out properly. Thank you, Krogunk. Character development. Is Dentist Rosa John's degree any more or less real than Mario's doctor degree? I would hope more real. Otherwise, the implication is that you need to like drop Tetris pieces in to like clean teeth. Instead of having to, like, clear lines, you have to, like, slip between the lines. That's how it is. That's how you do the flossing minigame. Uh, next up, from a rock launcher. So, it's been a small while, but I saw the other day that there was a Tetris John, and it reminded me I made a plaid or Scottish tet uh, Tetramino skin ages ago. While prepping this to upload, I also made one that's meant to be Rosa John themed. Neat. There's a nice tartan theme there. Oh my god. What? Tetris. It's gone plaid. <laughs> there you go. Here's the Rosa John theme one. So here's the Rosa John theme one. It's not boob related. It doesn't have to be boob related. It's okay. She's more than her tits. Uh, but I tried to use the main aspects of Rosa John's hair color being blue and yellow in most cases. I tried to vary up the patterns too. Hope you like it. We'll try more pixel shenanigans whenever I'm able. Still trying to catch up on the VODs. That LP's thick. <laughs> Why did I say that? Wow, Pop, wow. Tell me how you really feel. <laughs> it's 4 Pete. I, I don't know what to say anymore. <laughs> I've run out of topics Just to say. My life's boring. I don't know what I'm doing. Just go with the flow. That's what I always do. Should also add, I imagine if I had the skills to animate this, the patterns would rotate or move simply, possibly doing glitching, as I believe that's what is a symbol of both yourself and Rosa John, no? Yeah, we both have glitching powers, unfortunately. Hers hers seems more effective as it's powered by magic as well. Oh, right, this one. Oh. From Junko. Looks like you have to go to my Twitter to receive your present to open on Christmas. Yes. Thank you, Junko, for not posting the whole picture. I did retweet it yesterday, but it was very saucy, as it was very much a uh, wrapped in ribbon <laughs> Rosa John present. Very much a late night retweet. Thanks, Junko. <laughs> yeah, crop because of stream and brewery reasons. Yes, I can't show that one. Good call on that. There's a link to it if you want to see it. Thank you, Junko. Next up, uh, Negative is modeling off the compression version of the Buffton tank top with his lightning bolt on it. I took Cubo's advice to help with muscles and anatomy. Hopefully I can adapt these skills into my regular art. Very nice. Not bad. Very nice, Wolf Boy. You got the hands right. That's probably the hardest part. I love that that picture is not the only one with that tag. Wait a minute, what? Oh, it, it's, uh, they're both from Junko. I was going to say... Yeah, no, that's fair. Next up from uh, Flaming Bagel. Uh, first art of the night, felt inspired by Juker's stream on Sunday and wanted to recreate some characters starting with Julius Pringles. Right, that was the dude's name. <laughs> now you're making me want to have Pringles, Sean. Dude, I, I still didn't get Pringles after last time. <laughs> Bad tiger. Bad. I can't show that. Technically, I technically I can. No, technically that's safe. Technically that's safe, but also, bad tiger. Bad. <laughs> Someone took that prompt earlier and ran with it. Fuck it, fuck it, tiger. I'll say it's fine if you put the sensor bars on it. But th that's very much like that. Don't go any farther than that. Don't go any farther than that. Yes, please don't go any further from than that. Nitro. Uh, well, we're too big to get into the building now, so I guess we have to watch the stream from the roof now until this wears off. Just a quick follow-up from the BVA, uh, from the last BVA-related post. Well, that's what happens when you make yourself macro. You go, you go too big, and then the planet doesn't fit. You don't fit on the planet anymore. Thank you, Nitro. Uh, next up, from oh, I said from Robert, <laughs> Robert Crimbo. From Turner, if you want to spend Christmas shooting down planes and screaming at hostage keepers, you got to make sure you're warm and stylish. Merry Christmas, John and everybody. 
As I said when I started this thing, I'm not an artist, but something about the Animal Crossing clothing creator is such a genuine blast to make. So I decided as long as I have ideas, I want to be the Animal Crossing gal. So I hope to stick around for quite a while. Th thank you for your time. Look at my goofy clothing ideas. Neat. Thank you so much. P.S. How do you change your name on the Buru? Oh, you have to make a new account. There's no uh, editing your name otherwise. <laughs> People in chat looked at what Tiger posted on Twitter. Yeah, I haven't, I even, I haven't even retweeted it yet. I haven't even fucking retweeted it. I love that it just looks like Bunger. That's that's all I could think of when I see it. Uh, from Senshi. Here's a drawing of Rosa John holding a snowflake. I'll get to coloring it soon. I just want to try something with the background. Hopefully it'll work. Neat. This looks really cool, Senshi. Thank you so much. Next up, I see Asura. Obviously still a work in progress, but I found a place for Asura. Best part is, since he replaces the Banshee, when you hit him, he screams so loud that it partially deafens you. That that checks out. And yeah, that's fair. Like His design is really complex, but you've done a pretty good job with this, Abby. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it looks very good. Yeah, good translation. John, I didn't see Bunger until you said it. Now I cannot see it. Oh, it's so good. I love it. <laughs> bunger, 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 bunger. Uh, from Flowery. Uh, John Julius X9 may be going full Terminator. I may also be hiding in a bunker. These two things may be related. Uh, I don't think there's a may to that. Thank you, Flowery. Next up. Level 5, Excess All. Oh. You got an access card from Aliens I'm Infestation. Pissed. Wait a minute, this says Excess Card, and it's of a proton egg. Where does this even unlock and what? Uh, that definitely the probably secret level. That definitely the opens the fridge. Level in Res oh, I yeah, was no? going to say the secret level in Resmi five. That also works. It's like the there is no cow level, but for eggs. Thank yeah. you, Rock Launcher. Next up from Tiger. Oh God, it's happened again, hasn't it? I think this might be the third time this year I've doomed the planet by giving Rosa John Tiger Brew. Eh, it usually winds up working out. I'm sure it'll be fine. You gigantamaxed her after she drank the Pokemon one, didn't you? Yeah, and there's the moon. So at this point, I've Tiger, I feel like at this point you've basically created like the three fates equivalent of Rosa John's, because you've had like the giant Rosa John, black hole Rosa John, and now the uh how, how is it? Hatterene Rosa John? So I guess now we have the the three Rosas guarding slash trying to destroy the world. Checks out. <laughs> they each uh, bring balance to the other. Oh, 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 says, I'm sorry for what I have wrought on this accursed world. No, you're not, dude. <laughs> you're totally not. It Trust me. It's never feel regret. What? What is Eternamax? I'm not familiar with that. Is that what they added in the DLC? Also, why are Power Rangers... Oh, yo! This is like one of my favorite Power Rangers in space episodes. It, or no, this is Wild Force. Or not Wild Force. Uh, this is Lost Galaxy. How fitting that Alien and Power Rangers made it to the top three. For those unaware, there's a well-known episode of Power Rangers Lost Galaxy called The Rescue Mission that is self-admitted by the episode's director as his own alien knockoff. So it's one of the rare episodes of Power Rangers with zero Sentai footage, something that wouldn't happen again until the first episode of Dino Charge in 2015. Oh, it's main sword and shield spoilers. Okay, never mind. Yo, was th I didn't realize this was Lost Galaxy. This is the one where, like... They get, like, it's a virus that transforms into a monster, right? I thought that was, uh, in space. I have been trying to remember what this episode was, so I guess it was Lost Galaxy. Neat. Thanks, Gokai. Yeah. And, uh, we'll end on this picture here, because my alarm's going off. It's, uh, Zagreus John. Glitch of the Underworld. Uh, he was real interesting to try to make because of how detailed the armor is, uh, in the real Zagreus armor is. I even have a sword on his back, seeing as I didn't really find a good picture without him holding it. Neat. Thank you, Angels. And there's a link to download there. Uh, I, I, well, I know the suits were Galaxy, but I really thought there was an episode of, uh, in space where one of the Rangers had like their suit there someone cut through their suit and they got bit by some alien thing then and they transformed into the alien and it was like a virus they were spreading around the ship i really thought that was in space but i guess it was lost galaxy i'm pretty sure it's that episode that i just saw the pictures for that was the craterite invasion oh wait was it actually in space that i was thinking of then the episode you were thinking of is in space the galaxy one is straight up an alien parody oh shit 
All right, cool. So I'm not completely crazy. Cool. All right. All right. You know what? Since we since we talked about it, I'll I'll just fucking show it so we don't drag it out later. <laughs> You've heard of bug snacks. Now get ready for boob snacks. No, don't eat Rose's boobs, please. <laughs> also, yes, because of the fucking googly eyes, and I know you did this on purpose, it looks like Bunger. Behold. Behold. Bad ideas. <laughs> Thanks, Tiger. <laughs> I, I, I love how many, like, no, bad, and I hate this. I'm seeing in the chat. It's fucking perfect. Kind of boob and kind of snacks. All right, there's, you can see I'm there's a bunch of- with Tiger, bro. There's plenty more art to go, but we'll look at it later. Let's get back to some gaming. <laughs> oh god, yeah. what is, what has happened? Oh, all right. We are it's off to a roaring crap. start. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm going to perform my best impression of a monolith and just ascend to heaven. <laughs> God damn it, everyone's- we're all fucking insane, aren't we? Yeah. Yes! It's a requirement to watch your channel. <laughs> that should be the tagline of this channel. What has happened? <laughs> What's going on? What the heck? Checks out. Alright. Good thing. No, it's just one word. What? <laughs> what? There's a reason that we used to have the stream end with, <laughs> what was that? All right, uh, so we got a shoddy. We got uh, we got Hennick, who's replacing the our missing, our dead crew member, rather. So, question: Are you able to go back to the previous, like ship we were on? I, I we have to. We barely explored that ship, but I'm pretty sure we got to finish in this base first before that we can even do that. Oh right, hang on. I actually wasted a bunch of shotgun shells. I should only just. There we go. Perfect. How about bigger? I mean, we we said that so many times. I feel like that word lost all meaning after a while. It just it literally just became like a say the line Bart kind of situation because it was just like, look, I can I can only get so much mileage out of this bit. I've got <laughs> one of those here. What? Said I've got one of those line bits here. That's true. Twitch Prime. What Twitch gaming? Sure. I don't even have to say it anymore. Ah, the uh, dance of the uh, cover system. All right, so we got the key for the elevator. How about large? No, it's not. I don't need a fucking thesaurus. <laughs> That's not the problem here. <laughs> Im big oh god damn it. Here we go. Imbigin. Imbig the embiggening has begun. You know what I'd like to see a Rosa John mix with an alien. I think someone actually did draw that. Yeah, actually, Meganer, didn't you draw that like a while back? No, that was a that was a Zergling that you did. Or a Hydralisk. What have you done? Me or him? Both of you. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I, 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 I have definitely, uh, I've already been down this road so many times at this point, it's lost meaning. Look, you're not the one that actually literally had to go buy like costume pieces to, to basically like put his money where his mouth is. No, but I Or I guess with chest that. at this point. <laughs> What'd you say, Pop? Said no, but I helped with that. <laughs> I guess that's true. <laughs> As the, uh, what I'm looking for is a mix between Rosalina and a xenomorph alien. Why are you describing this in such great detail, Bubba? God damn it. <laughs> because uh, uh, Amasis uh, asked. Are you looking for an alien alien or a general alien? <laughs> you don't know me, that's not a joke. <laughs> I 
M M big and sounds so much more serious though. I don't know why. It sounds like I need to make this happen. We must M big and right now. Otherwise the world is doomed. Shit, that almost worked. From what? From what? The uh, shrinking? -ing? No, well, I, I get it. I mean, you gotta save it from many things, I guess. You, you never know when an M beginning is needed. I'm telling you, it sounds so fucking serious, though. <laughs> compared to just <laughs> saying bigger or could be bigger. I'm gonna need you to M in that on my desk. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean? See what I fucking mean? <laughs> I'm big in my, I'm big in that document on my desk right now. Did I take damage from that? No, I guess probably because it was technically still touching him. All right. Well, now that I know reloading is possible, that's very helpful with the shotgun. <laughs> it it sounds like a Stephen uh, King novel. Isn't that just the opposite of thinner at that point? Or just like a also, apparently, L will lock your legs in place for yeah, aiming. Yeah, but I can't move is the thing. Like, I, I was hoping for strafing is what I really wanted. A strafing button. Now, select isn't actually doing anything right now. Uh, it says change explosives. Yeah, it ain't working. Well, I'll tell you right now, the shotgun seems to be doing us some wonders. I remember in Alien Isolation, each weapon is good against a specific type of enemy. Makes sense. This is a good shotgun when it doesn't have that weird hitbox issue. Ooh, squishy. Ah, ye old red barrels of explosiveness. Thank God for them. They're helping right now. How about maximize? <laughs> All that does is remind me of uh, Transformers. Optimus Prime. Optimus Primal, yeah. Auto, uh, like, was it uh, Autobots Maximize or what are they called? I cannot remember what they were called in that show because it was Decepticon. No, it wasn't even Decepticons. It was Maximals. There we go. That was it. Maximals Maximize. That's what it was. Yeah, there you go. Beast Wars are beasties in Canada. Okay, I've reached the target. Predacons, that was what it was. There we go. What are you waiting for? Plant those charges. Huh? Well, I'll be. Sir, these charges aren't working. They're soaking wet. Wet? Yep, guess it was hat when I was at the showers. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fox 6, you need to appropriate some replacement explosives ASAP. Yeah, pass some construction supplies. There might be some explosives there. Hurry up, Fox 6. The clock is ticking. Command out. Really? Where do we even pass that? Construction uh, supplies. Look for the yellow dot. No, that'd be a motion thing. There's no... Where was that? A piano's pissed. Da, 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 da. I will say the music's trying to set the stage, whether it's successful or not. I mean, the sound is pretty good. Yeah. 
But this is DS. DS is decent sound font. And this is why you pin everything. Yeah, but I didn't know what they were describing, though. Like, the construction equipment? I literally don't remember where that was. Oh, shit, it's time for a weird and unfortunate raid. How unfortunate for how, you. How raid for me as well. Merry we Christmas, have to Wang. shoot you now. Hi Wang, thank you for the raid. Hopefully your stream was good, bud. Apparently it was good because it was very weird and unfortunate, but festive. <laughs> uh, we are currently doing game clearing, and this time around, for December's game, we're playing uh, Aliens Infestation. This is a... Uh, apparently this is the DS version of uh, Aliens Colonial Marines, but it came out years before the game actually came out, and is better, and was made by Way Forward, and is 2D. <laughs> Is this an Aliens yeah. Metroidvania? Kinda? <laughs> yeah, that's the best way I'd describe it. It's a it's a Metroidvania with permadeath, so like you lose characters. Like we've already lost one, replace it with, with the guy we're playing as right now. I'm still surprised Whistler's still in the group. Yeah, he he held on. He took down a queen. I'm gonna laugh if Whistler ends up being a the, the only survivor. Boss. Yeah, that'd be really funny, actually. Is it really better? I'm not sure about that. Compared to Colonial Marines, many things are better. There's a where are there so many cats in these buildings? Uh, compared to Colonial Marines, yes, it's definitely better. All right, well we gotta go find that box wherever the fuck that was. Wow, it survived that exploding barrel. That's honestly impressive. Yeah. Where the fuck were there even construction equipment? Somewhere. Do you know about the type of the code in Colonial Marines? Yes, uh, the aliens don't really do anything. In uh, in the Colonial Marines release, oh, just back here apparently. I uh, didn't even think that bag was in their after all ball. There you go. We did it. I thought it was a corpse we just saw. Uh, but yeah, no. In Colonial Marines, like the AI for the aliens uh, was broken because there was like one typo in a line of code that people fixed and apparently have working on the PC version of the game. Oh, 90% of coding is figuring out where that one line of error is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Turn around. Turn around. Oh, well, time to reload again. Switching between the two screens is proving to be a bit of a pain, though. With just my hands. Oh yeah, all these they spelled tether wrong. That was the that was the typo. Be sure to give yourself enough time Make to clear. My... This feels um... shorter than summer vacation. I guess I'll just have to hoof a double time. 
Uh, debuggers not always are going to be 100% helpful. Like, it could point line 15, but the error could be actually line 12. Do have to go back and get more explosives, I take it? I can say I need more explosives. Why am I not surprised? One is never enough. Yeah, you yelled that door. Which you probably can't stop. Well, aren't you the master of popping, Popsky? No. <laughs> Just a little soft. No. <laughs> wow, yeah, I took damage from that thing just being next to me. Shit. I, it, they must be procure on site instead of having to go back here because I have not, I do not see a second bag. God, they, they make really good splort noises. So squishy. What? Very squishy. Maybe... Did it say you had to go back for more explosives? It said I needed more explosives, so I'm gonna go ahead and hope that it's in this new base. Save. So, why can't they just dry out the old explosives? Here's the thing. Isn't C4 not even affected by water? Uh, no, I don't think so. Because it, it just needs to be, like, sparked with the, with the starter. There's the cat again. The de I could believe the detonator. Shit. Catch. Jesus, that did a lot of damage. Yeah, I'm actually surprised no one did the water alert. Eh, no one thought it was worth it. Uh, should I go ahead with this little health, I wonder? Or should I double back and heal? Well, they respawn, don't they? Yeah, that's the problem. I'm gonna have to deal with those guys no matter what I do here. Oh, never mind, here's health. And a robot. And a robot. Oh yeah, why am I not using my rockets? That's why, because I mean they don't work with the shotgun. <laughs> Ugh. Hmm. The game told me why. Water and water and water. water. There you go, someone someone obliged you. Someone obliged you. Oh, that is a Thank lot you, of Captain readings. Joe. Has a lot of readings. Hmm, I might have some regrets. Yeah, looks like plenty of regrets. Uh oh, nope. can. Yeah, 
there's still two readings left. There's our other bag of explosives. It was procure on site. But now we have like no health left. Well. Wait, did that house respawn? Yeah, all items yeah. respawn. All items respawn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get to the other side of this room again. Take the elevator down, go back to the cat room, and heal up. Uh, really? We need to stay. Is that not? There we go. Okay, I'll slide down here. Go to the room full of cat. Perfect. Good job. So we got wrecked by water, but not alien goo? Yeah, exactly. You know, logic. Yes. Oh, this is where I need to go. Uh, shit, should I even bother clearing out this room then? Well, I'm here. And the dance of the cover system. Yeah, the worst part about this game so far is definitely this, like, weird ass cover system. Well, it's 2D, what do you expect? I guess. Oh, shit. Yep, all that for nothing, really. Bummer. A gentle reminder that Xenomorph blood is acidic. So what you're saying is we we technically should have died over and over or taken or be nearly dead. Oh yeah, that's right. I've completely forgotten about that. I think this game has forgotten about that to be fair. Oh, and maybe the developers decided to be hey, nice and not fill that in. Oh boy. Uh, you got a lot more enemies coming. Oh yeah, I'm aware. <laughs> Excellent work, Sergeant. You need to knock out the last BP-33 Rick- I, I thought it said Ricky Ticky. Ricky Tick. They definitely know we're here now. I, I wonder why? What could be giving away that we're here? I have no idea. Probably the explosions. Yeah, it's probably. If I had to guess. Yeah, yeah. Seems. seems nah. Like that seems sus. Just fucking do it automatically. Come on. Don't make me actually have to do this. Still readings ahead. Oof. Whoa, shit! Um. What's up? How Man, Megan, you ammo really hate this game, huh? It's not that bad, honestly. It's not bad. <laughs> I actually find this one more uh, interesting than Alien Isolation. That guy doesn't need kneecaps anymore. You need to go to a safe station. <laughs> Trust me, I would love to find one. <laughs> I'm not trying to backseat, it's just... 
oh. ammo. Yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> I don't want to, there's like, should I say something? Should I not say something? Well, there's ammo. Take care of your gear and your gear will take care of you. <sighs> Actually, did we, just, did we just get an upgrade? Yes, we did. That, there we go. Plus one. Oh. <sighs> All right. Well, let's let's reload a little bit more. <laughs> Eleven shells left. Don't have any. Oh yeah, we gotta go in here and find our next explosives bag. Oh my God, please. Do we have Game to, weapon upgrades do go to all the Marines. Yes, that was confirmed earlier. Uh oh. Oh, we're gonna lose this guy. Yeah, we're gonna lose him. He's got one shell left. Oh, and there's still two readings ahead. Oh no. All right, we got no motion. Let's hope to God there's a, a save room. I'm scared. Oh yes. It's pistol time. I right, how bad's the pistol? Twenty ammo per clip. Unlimited clips. Well, here's the real test now. P shooter. Oh boy. That's gonna be a problem. Oh, that's that doesn't bode well. Oh, that doesn't bode well. No. <laughs> and we're out of grenades. We're out of everything, man. If he makes it, this is gonna be a fucking miracle. I believe. This is our last bag of explosives, too, that we need. No more motion in this area, at least, so I think I can just kind of jam back. <sighs> we are cutting this so close with him. Well, you didn't bring the epic, uh, pre puberty, uh, Marine. Oh, you're right, I didn't bring. Oh, uh, here you go. Whistler. That's true. I can just do, go I, in and I out. I can just spawn in and out here, so I can I can cheat the system a little bit for health. Well, I guess it's what we're doing. Cheating. It's that, cheesy. That that takes a, a little bit of the pressure off, but we still don't have any ammo for our shotgun. I would actually do it one more time. Uh, that way, if you take damage, you don't have to respawn everything. To get a heal? Oh, I get what you mean. Yeah, you know what? That's a good idea. I'm gonna do it one more time after that for that because I actually need to stand where that crate is to blow it up without taking damage. All 
Alright. Lots of motion in that other door, but we... Oh, no, we do need to do that. Shit. Uh-oh. Oof, alright. <sighs> I mean, I knew the pistol was not going to be nearly as good. That was painfully obvious. But it looks like I can run and fire, which is nice. We can make this work. We can be fine. Where's the other one? The trade-off is that we're going to have to take damage no matter what. the AA guns. Nice one, Marines. I can see the blast from here. Let's get you the hell out of there. It's too hot down there for an air extraction. Use EP2 for alternative ground evac. I'm making, I'm marking the location on your PV, or blah, blah, PCS map. Good luck, Sergeant. Command out. Well, there we go. That's all done with. I'm gonna guess locked elevator. No, well, not anymore. But, since we're here... It's nice not having to worry about ammo for a little bit. Even if it's just not doing as much damage. Are we almost done? No, 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 no. We're not gonna... This, this game will not be finished this stream. Hey, look what we finally found! Thank God. Alright, let's get our shotgun back on. Well, I'm gonna say Henna definitely earned his keep. I think we should bring someone else for a ride. Who have we not taken out? We haven't taken out Cameron, I don't think. Solid copy. I like his design, I don't want to lose him. Reminds me kind of like Teasel. Rain, are you okay? I'm fine, my team. They're gone. I must find them. Come with us, Private. It's safer than running around this place on your own. I can't. I must find my fire team. That's all that matters to me right now. We'll look for them. We just need to stick together. No! I'll find them. I can't turn my back on my brothers. I'm not saying to do that. All I'm saying is I don't have time to hear what you're saying. I must find them. If you need some of my supplies, take them. But please leave me alone to my work. As you wish. Good luck. Yeah, if there's any character we can talk to, they can join the party if we're down a character. So for those who came in later with the with the raid, uh, essentially the live system is like your character. So like once you lose a character, they're gone permanently. It's permadeath. Uh, but you find marines along the way to replace those slots. We actually in the first area found a character that looked a lot as chat were saying like Rosa. Uh, and then Hennick joined our team after we lost one of our characters who looked like the Rock. And uh, then there's that guy here, but we don't need him either. I like how there's all these supplies right next to the save point, which also resupplies you. Do you think we could have recruited Shower Guy? No, he's a he's definitely on the opposing team. That's why he had the key card. Oh, only one shot. Even better. Oh, I don't have it selected. Shit. There we go. Double kill. Kill Asus. Overkill. Kill Tastrophe. Well, good news. I figured out a better way than using the cover system. Oh, what the fuck? Get out of here. Yeah, fuck him up. Use that machine gun you're definitely carrying. That's the basic reason, uh, Sen Rising. 
Kilimanjaro. God, all you're doing is making me want to play Halo now. Oh, that's just background. Okay. So, unsurprisingly, their plans fucked up. So, on uh, talking about the kill messages, um, if you repeatedly, like, well, not like wrap it, but if you click like every five seconds on your name on the PC and Discord, you'll get the same type of messages except copied. Right, I forgot they said this was a breeding ground they were trying for aliens, so apparently, uh, not a good idea? Shocking, I know. They made, uh, their... They made their grave, now all they have to do is yeah. lay in it. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, let's get the fuck out- oh, no. Aim and fire let's with the go. stylus! Oh, joy! Command, we're heading towards the LZ2 extraction point. ETA, two minutes. Is the dropship ready? Firm to Corporal, but you have uh, Boku bogeys inbound fast. I suggest that you use that twin 20 turret, or you're not going to need a dropship. Roger that, sir. Man, I've always wanted to fire one of these things. Control the turret on the touch screen. I'm uploading the APC data now. Kick ass, Marine! Oh, joy. Oh, this is fucking weird. Ah. Uh... Good news, I think I found a strategy. Yeah. My Easy question game. is, where's the health bar? Uh, okay. Well, oh, oh, I can move the fucking thing. Oh. Maybe convey that, too, because I didn't think that would work. That is... Heavy weapon. And yeah, I have no idea where my health meter is. I'm just gonna hope and pray. Like, it doesn't look like the touch screen has this chain, so I don't think it's that. Well, obviously the flashing shows I can only take so many hits. And it's not like your thing is smoking, so I don't think it's that. Oh, yeah, but I, oh, you were saying, Bubba? Is that about it not smoking? I didn't actually mean to jinx you on that. This is uh. why I shut my mouth. <laughs> Alright, this, this is a little silly now. Dude, I don't think we're gonna do it. I think we're gonna die on this. Well, a good thing we do did just No Maybe you're supposed to. Oh looks like it, yeah. Poof. Okay, I definitely thought we were done. Oh, where the hell am I? Cameron, we commute. Say again, command. You're breaking up. Stup. Great. Guess we're on our own. Well, good news. They definitely thought you were gonna take damage, so they gave you all this stuff here. Bad news is that definitely means we're probably fighting another queen in a minute here. Oh, I don't even have my motion sensor anymore. Oh. What the fuck is that? That's an anti-air gun, I'm pretty sure. 
Okay. Let's never speak of that again. A deformed Sanamore? Look at this elephant motherfucker. Oh, shit, shit. Oh boy. Oh, we need to reload. Trouble. Oh no! Well, good news, I got to the other side of it. Oh, that hurts. Yeah, it's very bad. Yeah. Yep, lost him. Whew. So, do we bring in... We gotta bring in the big oh, guns, baby! Let's go, Whistler! Now, one thing I wanted is the boss health reset. God, I hope not. We're fucked. Whistler does it again! <laughs> Whistler, come in, Fox 6. Can you respond? Whistler's gonna be... The we hated Whistler, but he's gonna be the only one who survives at this rate. Whistler, come in, Fox 6. Can you respond? Roger, command. I read you. We're okay. Incredible! We thought you boys were all dead. We have located the crash site and we are sending in a dropship. Sit tight. Private help is on the way. Fox 6, I've been doing some secret research into the Xenomorph situation. What I've been able to uncover is quite unsettling, to say the least. It seems that the Weyland Yutani Corporation, uh huh, uh, and its military backers have a keen interest in these creatures as well, but not in destroying them, rather, using them as bioweapons no different than the UPP. No way. Got an old buddy in the MCIA. I trust him, and he trusts me to do the right thing. Do you copy me, Fox 6? No offense, John, but Whistler's the one you look the most alike thus far. Oh, I'm not surprised. I thought the same thing. I just didn't say it out loud. Uh, I think I do, sir. I knew you would. It's off the books, completely black. If we are caught, it could mean hanging at Camp Orin Paul. This is volunteer only, Marines. You can count me in, Colonel. Very well, Fox 6 is back to the Sulaco. Knife trick game unlocked! You can access this game from the extras menu. Ooh, bonus content. Okay, listen up, Marines. They are not expecting us. The Sulaco is going to intercept a Weyland Yutani freighter in a few hours. The freighter contains cargo straight from LV 426. I plan on taking it to a special research center on the uh, Martian moon of Phobos. We need to get to the gun battery and destroy that freighter before it can offload the cargo. Who's going to take point on this one? Yo. Thanks, Johnson. I knew you'd rise to the occasion. Just remember to play cool. What do you mean? I mean, try to find out what's going on without using your gun to ask the questions. Okay, well, I'll give it a shot, but what if that doesn't work, man? You're a Marine. You'll figure out something. Hoorah. All right. We're back on the ship. Oh, hi. Can I just talk to you? Nope. 
Um, you're just you're just here for color. Lance Corporal Johnson, what brings Fox Six back to the Sulaco? We're here to reestablish contact. Apparently, you guys aren't picking up the phone. HQ's getting pretty tight jawed, so we're here to see if everything is all right. Yeah, the problem must be on your end. Our compsat's fine. In fact, we received a call from UAAC Command just a while ago. It told us to rendezvous with a disabled Wayland Yutani freighter and take on their cargo and crew. Oh, yeah? How long till we reach this freighter? How long ago, you mean? We made contact with him about six hours ago. So the cargo is already on board. Yeah, it's in the main cargo hold. We're giving them a ride to some research station on Phobos. There a problem, Lance Corporal? No, man, no problem. Just tell your men to stay clear of that cargo. What's going on? Seriously, tell them now. Yeah, sure. This is 3-1 to Charlie 3. Uh, how copy? Over. Hmm. Charlie 3, report. Hmm, he's not answering. Tried it your way, Colonel. Now I'm heading for the cargo hold. My way. Uh, hi. I don't believe we've met. My name is Sean Davis. Generic company man. That's a joke. And you are? <laughs> Lance Corporal Samantha Johnson, USCM Charlie Squad, 1st Platoon, 2nd and ninth. Step aside, man. We've got some bugs to hunt. Uh, yeah, about that. You see, that cargo is technically property of Wayland Yutani, who is, as you know, a military contractor, which means you would actually be destroying UAAC property, which I don't think, under the circumstances, is the best career move you could make at this time. What, man? Are you threatening me? No, 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 I'm just saying decisions such as this is probably, well, no offense, but above your pay grade. Try to stop me. What if I said please? Uh, okay, I get it, yep, well, okay then. <laughs> I don't think please would work. That was the please. That was the please. Alright, well, uh, since we have a... Oh, Carl, did you copy all that? The affirmative Fox 6 looks like we're going to have to alter the plan a little bit. Just tell me where they're at, man. I'm going to start scanning the ship, see if I can track those creatures. While I'm doing that, you head to the cargo hold. I'll mark it on your map. Perform a visual sweep of the ship along the way, terminating any xenomorphic life forms you encounter. Now that you have a TNA lamp, you can try accessing some of those dark areas you couldn't explore before. Wilco Command, I'm Oscar Mike. Uh, what I'm actually going to do is i got to try to remember where the fuck we found that... Uh, that character that wasn't doing anything. Oh, way over there. Oof, that's going to take a while to get to. Let me guess, robots again? Or, nope. Just... Oh! Oh, interesting. Regular men. Regular man running around doing regular man things. Suspicious. Such as nothing. Um, hmm. Ooh. I just saw is that, something. Is the cat still there? Nope. The, the cat's finally gone. <laughs> yeah, no, I saw that, that key card. No, I've seen that key card. We, we, we've passed it a bunch. Okay. You mean the level four key card up here, right? Yes. Yeah, we need the wrench. Oh, yeah. That. Don't worry. I saw it too. Don't worry. Hey, I saw it. I see the I'm key helping. card. Give me key card. I'm helping. Oh, we're supposed to help? <laughs> Shocking, I know. I'm sorry, I didn't get that part of the memo. I knew it was going to be another cat. Another cat? This cat sure is getting some mileage in these ships. Oh, hi. Okay. So spooky. Ka Kablitz? I would not be surprised. What? What if you need the well doors for the civvies or worker safety? Oh, God, I hope not. You're probably right. That's what the blades suggested. 
Have I used any grenades yet? I think so. Well, now I need the health, so. I wasn't. I don't think we were paying attention, Owl, to tell if they sound like a GL dude. What? what? I, don't, uh, I don't hear it. I don't hear it. I can also go up there now, too. I might as well explore up here now. Because this is the one that was a dark room I couldn't explore. Yep, of course. Of course. Yeah, I didn't need to see anything in this room. I thought you had a lamp. I do. I'm pretty sure it's on. Nope, it's not. I thought it was just the room just wasn't working. Sup? Marine, what's your status? <laughs> Hi, Harley Quinn! She's my favorite. <laughs> Annoyed, but what else is new? We're down to man. Will you join our squad? What's the point? We're all gonna die someday anyway. She's my absolute favorite. That's a pretty bleak outlook. I read my psych eval. I'm full of smiles. I need an answer. Will you join our squad? Eh, fine. I'm bored here anyway. PF, uh, PFC Zoe Kennedy reporting for death duty. What happened to your previous squad? They're being digested in some bug's stomach. Maybe you guys fight better than them. I hope so too. Well, we should switch to that one because nothing ever bad ever happens to the Kennedys. Rock and roll. There we go. We got plus two on our shotgun now. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I thought that I thought it was still on with that setup. So I was like, wow, they must be doing something really weird here. <laughs> nope. I just didn't realize it. It looks like at uh, the top of this shaft there was a no, we, we had to go up there uh, earlier. We had to go up there earlier. Okay. All right. Don't worry. Will you use my goth girlfriend now? I need to get to a save door. Your goth girlfriend? Are you, are you getting Are you getting married? <laughs> What's happening here? Are you going out? Yeah, it's just something we should know, Popsky. I like how you didn't bat an eye for a couple seconds. Well, cause you just just claimed her right away. I'm like, all right, whatever. Oh, here's another character. Yeah, I have to. For Marine, you okay? Chat does. That is a square jaw. Wow. Affirmative. Just the wow. Entire team. You're probably KA Lance Corporal. Why don't you come with us? Native, you can take some of my supplies, ammo, meds, but I cannot leave my post till I receive new orders from command. Sorry. Roger that. Good luck. Any right. other? future one up. Yeah, well, as long as we're finding possible options. Coo Goose goes poison. <laughs> the poison for Goose Go. Goose Go's jawline's not as strong as mine. Right, let's see here. I can break boulders and Pringle scans. <laughs> My hand doesn't get stuck in Pringle scans. Pringle cans get stuck on me. <laughs> My jaw does. Please help. Why do I keep putting my jaw in Pringles cans? I don't know, but man, I'm very hungry. I'd like to freehand Pringles <laughs> cans. <laughs> <laughs> I like to shotgun these cans, man. Just drinking them chips up. Yeah, that's where we came from. All right, you want your goth girlfriend, so I'll go switch to her now. Hell yeah. And hopefully, uh, your goth girlfriend doesn't die. I mean, we all do anyway, right? I'm on it. <laughs> me, well, me all Johnson's like, fuck this yeah. helmet! <laughs> Hate it! Well, I heard rumors that anyone that drinks water eventually dies. Yeah, it's a, it's a 
rumor that's persisted for a long time. Damn, my massive chin. <laughs> Sorry, no, let's try to do it with the. Uh... Ah, oh, shit! I can't even do it now. I can, can you? I can you do uh, Kronk's voice? Cause I can't anymore for some reason. It's like damn. fuck. I can't. <laughs> no, I can't. I just now I'm laughing. I can't even do it. Goose goes point. Damn, my massive chin is stuck in a can of sea salt and vinegar Pringles. Please send help, Peter. There we go. That's that was a trick for remembering. Peter. 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 Help, Peter. I'm stuck in a can of sea salt and vinegar Pringles. Please send help. No, that, that one got away from me. Whatever. Peter. Peter. <laughs> Just practice with Joe Swanson. Hey, Peter, can I borrow your egg, Peter? So no. silly. A bit bummed out that I can't use those rockets with the shotgun, but I guess it makes sense. Alright. Uh no, we can't even get rid of those anyways. It looks like the other the other girl's still available at least. Good. Seriously, are we not gonna question why Popsky says that he claims a goth girl? Because he's got a type! I thought that was obvious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you know, chat. Now you know. And knowing is half the battle. That means they're going to draw you, you gender bent out as a goth girl, Rosa John. How is he a Rosa John? You could do Rosa Pop. Why do I say these things? Because you're enjoying the chaos. Stick around these Don't screams long enough, the, the chaos just becomes a part of you. Yeah. What's the other half of the battle? Um, Action the other half. Drawing. Yeah. Once you start watching John, you uh, just become part chaotic. And the other thing that oh, happens. Shit, is this actually the correct way to go? Oh, shit. I think that was going to be the case. And the other thing is you start glitching games. Pop, you weren't actually expecting your 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 goth girlfriend to live, right? Yolo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you only live once. Unless you're winter, then you become a ghost, and then you inhabit John's uh, computer. Wow, this really just straight up was the way to go. Well, maybe not. This is actually a supply room. It's a really good one, too. Spell sword, that's pretty good. I mean, John will have Rosalina, Mill has Daisy, and I'll have Toadette. <laughs> Very cool. I never thought you said Millhouse Daisy. I'm like, what? <laughs> I had a pause. <laughs> <with my apple. laughs> I thought you were saying Millhouse Daisy. I'm like, what the fuck are you going on about now? Well, there's another thing to draw. Yeah. Millhouse Daisy. I just have fun with that. Oh my god. Just another day here. Yeah. I can't wait for Art Block. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because then we got Rosa Popsky in the style of Goth. In the style of Goth. Might want to check now. No, I'll save it for later. Gotta have some surprises. Yeah. Yes. Probably should have reloaded before I came down here. Shit. I really hate that it's a touchscreen thing and I have to turn off my map to reload. That's so frustrating. That 
That's an unusual box. Yeah. What's up with that? Like, I'm not the only one that thinks that is a weird design for a box compared to I'm all gonna, the I'm other mark boxes this with a we flare. Just in case. There's a couple in these vents, but I can't actually seem to find them. All right, that door's useless. Until we find some gooby gone. Where the f oh, oh, hi. Oh, we've definitely, we definitely shouldn't be here yet. I found a flag. Two flags, three flags. Four flags. Do I hear five flags? Nope. Well, that leads back up to where we came from. Two more. Three There's more. more those, yeah. I guess the box, they were just there, just for design-wise. They were red herrings. Yeah, that door's good. I didn't And I didn't know we were playing Scooby-Doo. How many, we have not found any new tools in a while. We still need a wrench, a key, uh, a, a tank, and whatever that last thing is. The thing to remove the goo. I'm, I'm betting that propane tank. I'm betting that's a propane tank for a flamethrower, or some sort of fuel tank for a flamethrower. Ooh, that's uh, because it wouldn't be an, an aliens anything without a flamethrower. No, it would not be because flame is their weakness. I'm betting it's also needed. It's probably the flamethrower we need to get rid of the goo. Well, there's an upgrade. Uh, let's... Oops, no, that's not the right button. Let's let another flare here to remind myself about that. Since we're probably going to be on this map for a while. Hello. Oh, hi there. Can I... Can I... Can I... Can I... Can I... Nope, not yet, I guess. Get away from her, no. you bitch! Nope. Yeah. Nope. No power loader use yet. We did find a save room. Suspicious. Yeah. Gotta find the manual for the power loader. That's probably what that fucking old timey key is. Uh, we currently we still are at four because we picked up. Uh, Popsky's uh, girlfriend. It's my wife now. We just oh, got so married. What? Oh shit, man, that was fast. <laughs> When's uh, the yeah, first there kid it. coming by? Well, I guess I was. It just went by in a, in a flash. That's how it happens sometimes. Oh! There um... it is. <laughs> I might have made a mistake. Hello, Gooby Gone. Found an M240 incinerator unit, but some idiot drained it. Should be able to reload at any communication station, same as any other weapon. Why don't I do everyone's laundry while I'm at it, huh? Ugh, maybe I can torch that gunk off of doors with this. I love watching things burn. You can give a I... shot on your way to Hangar 1. I'll pick up strange readings from there. Check it out and mark the location on your map. I love her. <laughs> All right, let's see how the flamethrower is. Hmm, a 
It just has a hundred. Jesus Christ! Wow. She types really fast with one hand. It self recharges. Oh. Ooh, ah. Oh, baby. And I think there's a xenomorph that's supposed to show up here, around here. So let's let's give them a greeting. And you have an upgrade. I don't know if you want to use it on that, but I need the. Uh, Steam. I need the wrench. Alright, well, one bad thing is it does not seem to be killing them very fast. I love your movies. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm not digging this as much as a weapon as I hope. Do you need it for doors, though, which kind of sucks. Yeah. I can only switch with communication rooms. Mm hmm. But then again, it's got good range, so as long as I'm careful, it's just. The shotgun was way faster. As long as I think to roll, I think I'll be fine. Here's the million-dollar question. Um, Where did it go? Well, it wants me to go all the way up here. That's like an entire part of the map I haven't explored yet. Uh, oh, boy. But I'm wondering if there's any, like, old areas I can get to now. Because I think down there requires the level 6 key card. I'm basically trying to remember where doors are been that we needed to torch. Yeah, because like, I think there was a, a gooey door back up here, right? Yeah, even if I even if I stood still and uh and aimed, I still seem to get in trouble with this thing. Yeah, here's a goo door. Gooigi, why have you uh, why are you all over this ship? Oh, that looks bad. I'm gonna assume I can't go in there without getting my ass electrocuted, so let's not touch that. I was hoping there'd be like some upgrade, maybe. Nope, just a bunch of silly I string. <laughs> well, maybe there's somewhere in the room you can turn off the electrical doodad. I'm betting we get some specific item. Oh, there's an upgrade. Can we get it now? The answer is no. Not without turning off the silly string. Oh, hey, we've been up here. Nice. 
Now let's see what's up. Another door. I think I'm just unlocking like a, a bunch of like quick travel spots, basically, like a bunch of shortcuts. That's what I think you're doing. Yeah, because now I'm back up here. It's the door you welded shut. You're totally right. That's exactly what door it is. All right, so there's an upgrade we can't get until we can figure out how to stop electricity. Ugh. What's the better way to go here now, I wonder? It might actually just be back the way we came. No, no, no. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, because we need to get there. Yeah, this is the best way to go. Xenomorphs can't go through doors, right? So far. <laughs> Unless they're open. Dude, I think I'm about to lose your wife. Yep. This I hate this flamethrower for combat. Commander, we you. got an MIA. F. Sorry, Popsky. Whoa, wait, what? I'm whoa, whoa, again. hang on. I can see that 6 1. Hold on, I'm tracking. Okay, they've stopped. Vital signs are weak, but they're still alive. Oh my god. I'm marking their location on your map. Bring them back, Private. No one gets left behind. What? That's what the fuck I'm talking about. Raw 6 1 out. Uh, okay. Oh, good. This is, this is where they put me back. Whew, this flamethrower really not Can't a good die weapon. if you're already dead inside. Where? Oh, that's so, so far ahead. I don't even know if we can get to her. I will try, but I cannot promise anything. Dude, I need to switch to the shotgun. I, I'm not digging cool. this flamethrower anymore. This flamethrower is very situational. Can I use rockets with a flamethrower? Uh, we haven't found any, so I don't know, but I don't think so. Oh, shit. I did the thing again. Oh, there's one way to find out. No. That would have been an interesting combination. You saying a goth girl is hot set off a whole fucking saga. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> As you do. I need a key card for that. What? Maybe I do need the flamethrower. Hang on. I don't think I have a choice. <laughs> Wait, you lost characters during boss fights. Maybe this is a second chance mechanic or mercy for the new recruit. It might be. It must be what it is. Because... Maybe. Because goth girls live forever. Mm. I don't know, we just never explored this area, and that's all. She's still here.
Definitely that we really need to do stun lock or something, man. Sergeant Hannick, raid me. I read your partner, go ahead. You were right, crates were, eggs hatched, blood everywhere, I... Break it up, buddy, say again. Company screwed us, team is dead, I have to get out of... Private camp, Colonel, did you get that? I did, sounds like the company's unleashed Pandora's box on this ship. Which means it's time for the Marines to open a box of whoop-ass. Nothing changes, we do our job, now get to that hangar. yippee ki -yay. let's get it on. That's not the rest of the line, Hennick. Oorah. Oorah, Marines. Oorah. This thing that was so weird. Alright, let's see. How close can I even get to Popsky's girl? <laughs> it's just, I think it's just naturally accepted now. As it should be. Level 5, so I can't do that yet. Level 2, but I can do that. So let's see what's up here. Maybe if I get some upgrades for the flamethrower, it won't be as bad, but... We haven't been able to get any of those really at the at the moment. Oh, this seems safe. Yes. Where is this leading me? This way. Thanks, thanks, Bubba. Appreciate it. Well, at least it's not leading you that away. Oh, hey! Take care of your gear, and your gear will take care of you. Level one flamethrower, or plus one flamethrower. I assume it's just gonna work the same. Yep, yeah, there we go. We got our, we got an upgrade. Well, he is the helping the upgrades. Worth it. And the question is, is it actually better? I mean, the shotgun did get better when we upgraded that. And the shotgun's plus two right now, which is why probably why the flamethrower feels so weak by comparison. Yeah, let's find a xenomorph and fight it. Yeah, that already seems better. Yeah. yeah. I, I, well, what happens with plus two? I don't think it would make sense for the flamethrower to be upgradable. I mean, the uh, pistol to be upgradable. It wouldn't surprise me if it was, honestly. That one was quick. So I think another thing too, I don't know if you guys have noticed, there are different color xenomorphs and they seem to have varying amounts of health. Mm. But the, yeah, the plus one flamethrower does seem to be doing some work right now. Alright, so level 3 and level 4, so I can't even do... Uh, no, there's a ladder here I can take. No, I can't... Oh, right. Uh, I wonder if I kill this guy, it causes problems. Never mind. God, this area is just a mess. There's another upgrade canister. Can we get plus two to our flamethrower, or are we gonna get blocked off by more uh, wiggly lines? Oh, Popsy, you might be in luck. 
That's what I'm talking about. Peace through superior firepower. <laughs> All right, more firepower, but we cannot save Goth Girl yet. I need a level four key card to get over to where she is. Also, I can't help but notice her yellow dot has disappeared. Check your character list. No signal. Yeah, she's gone. Damn. In the arms of the angels. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, we were nowhere near where we needed to be to save her, so I don't know what the world the game was expecting at that point. You get only five minutes, I guess. You. I think that's a guess, is what they were saying. Well, in that case, I'm gonna go back. Uh, should I go ahead and see if we find a new character, or should we go with the three we have? Because we already know a couple places we can get more characters. So I think, yeah, we'll just move on and meet new characters. Or find a save point, apparently. Single again. It's all right. It, it was kind of a shotgun wedding. He went. You went straight to Vegas. <laughs> yeah, I didn't like her that much anyway. Let's let's be honest. You like her enough to sing in the arms of the angel for her. <laughs> Don't hide your feelings, Popsky. It's not I'm nice. Just in denial, man. All right. Yeah. I still have Toadette, apparently. Oh, congratulations. So that was just put on me by chat, <laughs> but I guess I guess you know about that all too well. Yeah, you get used to it. You, yeah, you, it you accept it traditionally. Oh, hey, this is actually, I think, the room where she would have been, I think. This looks like the right yeah. spot. Yeah, we'll I'm guessing she would have been like up against the oh, wall. so that's what these rooms are for then. They're rooms where you can save your uh, your comrades. <sighs> Bummer. Well, the more you know. Oh shit. Yeah, that Xenomorph was moonwalking. Yes, they do. They're known for it. It's their famous special skill. Oh, this is probably going to be full of them. Box. This does look like a boss room. With how many regular ones are sending at me, though? Probably not. Maybe we get the thingy, the uh, power loader thing to move. Yeah, this seems kind of industrial area. No oh, one's respawned behind us. Key card three. Try to get to the bottom of the ship to the lower hangar. I'm starting to pick up something down there. Oops. Still the one on the ceiling. All right, let's. Uh... Oh, it's the next room that has a save point. Well, good news. Now that I realize I can act that strafing I wanted to do earlier works perfectly fine with the flamethrower, I'm f it, we might be a bit better. He says as he runs right into a xenomorph right outside the safe room. As you do. As you do. 
You had to get hit sometime. Yeah, no, I know. Alright. Dusty! I'm indulging. PFC Fisher. You remembered. We're down a body. We could use your help. Uh, okay, fine. But I'm only doing this because I want to. Not because you told me to. Just fall in, Fisher. I think I'm in love again. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was fast. Hosky's very fickle. Popsky, take some time to heal, please. Popsky, no, everyone you love dies. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Wait, does that mean the Rosa John Marine is dead? That's what they're implying. So I'm gonna have to be very careful. Are you going to fall in love with every girl in this game? We'll see. He's a very lonely man. Yeah, I am. <laughs> oh, well, you still got chat. Chat will never leave you alone. Chat will never let you down. Oh shit! Oh shit! And chat's never gonna give him up. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Give me some room to work I here. I knew that was coming. Just don't fall for Whistler. No, fuck that guy. <laughs> He's gonna live forever. <laughs> Thank God, I took a lot yeah, of damage. Yeah, because he uh, sends out all the uh, the real cannon fodder. Am I going to regret switching to her? I wonder. You got it. <laughs> I like her armor. I just love her. I was going to say, isn't you know? it the same as everyone else's, or do you mean in her portrait? <laughs> it's like a shade of pink. Like oh. a salmon. Look at this guy! Hey, Marine, you alone out here? It's me and the bugs. What happened to your fire team? I don't know, man. I'm looking for them, though. Hopefully I'll find them soon. Well, why don't you fall in with us, Marine? This place is dangerous. You think I don't know that man? That's why I gotta find him. They could be in trouble. Sucha esto. I, I can give you some ammo and some med kits so you vatos can move on. I need to stay and find my hermanos. Alright then, private. Good luck. Okay, I'm above the hangar and I just found some keys on the ground. The key chain says J5000PL. Sounds like our power loader keys. Hold on, they might come in handy. Let's rock. Your Spanish needs polishing? I don't know any Spanish! <laughs> Literally was never taught it. It's not taught in Canadian schools. I honestly thought that was decent for someone who's pretty good for someone Your Spanish who's needs learning. Taught. Great. That helps. Your learning needs Spanish. Hey. Oh snap. It's time. <laughs> yeah, Get away from her, you arms. bitch. Alright, so we got we got the big smack. We got that. And we got the jump out of the suit and risk your I'm life. Guessing, I'm guessing this is how you get through electricity. No, I doubt it. You're uh, in a metal suit. What do you think's gonna happen when you cry? Across a live electrical current. Bubba, I never said I was educated, all right, dude. <laughs> oh shit! It's let's fight a queen. Let's go. As you've been saying it the whole crunch? time, I'm gonna say it now. Get away from her, you bitch! 
Shout out to the only part of Aliens I've seen, literally that final fight. Same here. <laughs> also same. <laughs> I have seen uh, Alien Isolation. I played maybe an hour of it before it was... I'm talking about the movie, but okay. I guess that counts too. No, I... I've seen, like, the ending of a Alien Isolation, the movie, was whatever the movie's called. Oh god, I, I hope the power loader does not that explode part. if I don't get out of it in time. I only know of that part because Carker's bed for a day. Oh, really? I actually saw the, that part of the movie on TV. Which is why I was surprised it was, like, they left bitch in. Oh shit. Oh fuck, I'm moving really fast with this thing, what the fuck? Maybe that's what plus two is? Command, come in, please! Go ahead, private. Uh, this thing won't, like, die, and I'm not sure how much ammo I have left. Any ideas? Let me pull up the schematic. Okay, there should be a terminal towards the left of the hangar, private. Access to open the airlock we're doing! We're actually doing the end of Aliens! We're actually doing it. Uh, access to open the airlock, just sending that creature into space might be your only hope. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, I'm out of time. No, fuck it. I'm doing it. Let's oh, no. I'm totally gonna haunt you. Fuck it. I'm doing it. Oh, no. Oh, no. We actually can't because the power loader's gone. Oh. Uh. Wait, but I can't leave. What? Did I miss something here? We can't leave. Did a, did a second boots. suit spawn, or did I miss something here? Oh, shit. And you can't grenade the things. Uh, did I soft lock? My yeah, it's chat. Someone in chat says try grenades. Oh no, I just didn't clock oh. enough damage. Apparently. Get off I knew my it wouldn't work ship. with hose. Calm down, Fisher. Let me see. Someone's in initiated the override system to prevent airlock access. No, duh, dude. I could have told you that. Don't worry. You can still open the airlock manually. I'm listening. You need to access each of the terminals in oh, to open the hatch. Once the hatch is open, though, you only have about 30 seconds to get out of there before you get sucked into space, too. Understand? Yeah, I'm on it. Wish me luck. This is bad. We're gonna lose her too. What is this fucking Donkey Kong? How many of these things are there? Uh, no, I can't roll because it's the same dead. fucking button. Oh, that's so stupid. Roll and type the on the keyboard of the switch. same fucking button. That's fucking stupid. I'm mad about that. Alright. Alright, hero. Whistler, you've somehow been... You've somehow been good luck. <laughs> Stingle again. <laughs> That is pretty dumb, though. Did it... Oh, it keeps hitting me so I don't finish typing on the fucking thing, either! Come on, get up here. Jesus. The boss is literally not giving me any time to do anything here. Alright, there we go. I think that's the most time we're gonna be able to buy for ourselves! Oh! Oh my god, this is actually frustrating now. Fuck off.
Whistler, I think your luck's run out. <sighs> you did save at the last save station, right? Yeah. We must have this. We have to stun the boss because that when we threw the grenade, it works. But this is come on now. Oh my god! Fuck off. That's uh, I still didn't turn it on. Jesus. We've lost three characters. We're just gonna have to reload, cause this is, this is shit, dude, like. Well, we might as well see what the game over looks like. Dude, seriously, fuck off. Look at how little time that bought me. No, why are why is activate and roll the same button? Cause this was DS and there weren't that many buttons. I can't move. Oh, because it's still disgusting. Huff, huff, huff. All right, Sergeant. Yeah, suck the air out of my lungs. You did well, Heineck, very well. Gr gristle. Say it again, Sergeant. They call me Gristle. Well, Gristle, I don't know if you killed it, but that beast is no longer on the ship. Good news, right? Yes, but now for the bad. The Suloco is preparing to dock with the station on Phobos. I've been trying to reach that special research facility, but I'm not getting any response. Thinking it's a trap? Maybe, or maybe worse, it wouldn't be surprising to learn that the company has known about these things for some time. Nor would it be hard to imagine that what's happening here could have happened there as well. Back to the dropship, we need to find out what's really going on down here. Alright, is that Colonel 6 one out? Oh! Okay. Uh... You... One life. And restore. So here's the question. Do we restart and attempt that again? I say attempt it again because you have one life and I don't think these side areas have lives. So if you die, it's game over anyway. The side areas do have some lives. That's how we got Hennick in the first place. But we're kind of in trouble. I would not feel comfortable. When you change areas, it auto saves. Oh no! Are you serious? Hang on. It. Not like this. Oh, joy. We're 57% through the game, but it also says run Phobos, so guess what? We have just Hennick. Well, it was a good run, Whistler. Whoo, buddy. Well, this is going to be fun. No, we'll make it work. No, we're not giving up. We're going to make this work. I'm too stubborn yeah. to let this win. You know that. But it's time for break oh, We, we went over time on that anyways.
Ooh, that boss sucked, though. Yeah. Like, like, yeah, I should have been clocking more damage. But, like, what was it? Like, that was my last grenade that got us that... That solution, that that last button. This sink is filthy, but just three shots. I wonder if it wipes the get the save when you get a game over. No, there's no way it goes back. There's no way they would do that. It would go back to the last checkpoint. We can do it. Don't worry. We can still salvage this. Yes. We're at 57 percent through the game. We're over halfway done the game already. We got this. Even if it means we're going to get a new team. How much do you bet? I bet you. I bet you. They knew that boss fight was going to cause issues. I bet you one of the first, like, five rooms we check is going to have someone to join our party. I'm going to call it now. One of the first five rooms is going to have at least one soldier, if not two. Oh, is that boss actually considered a that one boss kind of situation? All right. Xarian for 37, Modok 215 for 11, Fox McCloud for 82, Grabobly for 47, Pokegod 11 for 47, Mega Vector for 51, Definity 0 for 24, Amazing Pepe 17 for 6. Uh, Laurentius for 9, Samurai Snake for 63, Joy Gatorman for 55, Sammy Weiss for 46, Blue Nexella for 68, and Colin Team NP for 37. Alongside Nitro CR for 29, and Tattoo 14 for 64. Thank you for seven guys. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. Deep says 100 bucks if there's a soldier in the first five rooms that joins you. All right, that's brave, but sure. I won't say no to, to money if I'm somehow correct on this. That also might be why Shades Guy is in the room right before the fight in case you don't have a full squad. I bet you that's why, yeah. Hello, I like money. <laughs> Deep says, I don't think the devs cared enough, so I don't think you're going to get someone in the five rooms. That's fair. We'll see. All right, uh, eggs. Let me shuffle yes. the carton here again. Uh, from Still, I'm going to skip that Family Feud one because I don't think Family Feud music is safe. It's 50-50 on that. So I'm going to play Oops All Mahogany from Still. You will give me so much fucking mahogany in this world. That's right. It's very correct. And, oops, wrong folder. And we've also got, from Game Fan. is this where the egg came from? This party's getting crazy. Let's rock. Popeye's chicken sandwich. No. Uh... Ooh. Might not be able to play that one. From Gokai, Frussy. You will give me Frussy. Oh, it's Frussy, sorry. Frussy. And what... Let's see what this is. And not a good kind of crazy by Pantaro. It says Spongebob audio, which is what worries me. My friend Sponge yeah, no, that's gonna be... No. Party's good again. Yeah, it, it edits in the, the the Dante thing, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say no to that. We so apparently today Twitch talked about how they're they've they're working on a live DMCA DMCA bot that will actually take down Twitch streams if they find anything of note. So like I said, I'm gonna have to start cracking down a little bit. Sorry guys. Alright, uh we're gonna get a break. When we come back, art block and we will see if I forgot what's the character. I keep saying He-Man. Hennick. Let's see if Hennick can be a He-Man and save our troubled run. See you guys in a bit. Yeah. People, yeah you, okay. You, you guys can say thanks, Twitch, thanks, Amazon, annoyingly, all you want. They legally have to do this or they will be sued up the fucking wazoo. This is the exact same shit YouTube had to go through years ago. It's just Twitch is now being forced to play to play ball and catch up. 
It's just the way the internet is. What you should be it's... mad at is the fact that your copyright laws have not been updated in years, decades. Yes, that's the issue. I'll be right back. Oh no, he fill my drink. YouTube isn't going through this shit? No, YouTube already had this shit happen. So, like, they've already got all the systems in place to, like, remove audio from videos so you don't lose everything. It's not perfect, but it's more than what Twitch currently has, which is nothing. See where we left off there. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh, I like the head. It's great. It's fucking great. All right, I'll be right back. All right, chat. You got any questions for me? I'm sure there was a lot during gameplay. Will you marry us? Of course I will. Favorite D and D class? Monk. Are you ready for the storm that is approaching? Dude, I'm so ready. Uh, my favorite D&D &D class is Mage. <laughs> is anyone surprised? Not really. And also, I have also peeked ahead at Art Block. That is why at the random times I be giggling. We have a summer wedding? No. Winter wedding. Well, if here's the thing with DCMA, GMC. there's D uh, the point. I'm just uh, DMCA is if Twitch. So there's what's called the safe harbor law. Twitch, Twitter, YouTube. If there's any other social media platform that I'm forgetting, Facebook, if they don't enforce it, they don't fall under the safe harbor law. Basically, what that means, if they don't enforce it, they can get sued by the company or whoever holds the copyright. And the, when did the DCMA law come in existence? Nineteen ninety-eight. Twenty years. Twenty-two, twenty-three years.
lower my mic volume so I can eat this, uh, this bar. How is your bar? Is it tasty? I'm gonna take that as a yes. I think I will do the same. Changing subject, besides your music, what other music is VOD safe? I mean, it's out there, you just gotta look for it. I, I really don't have... I mean, you could use Pretzel Rocks, if you wanna look that up. I was trying to think of what the name of it is. So what you've been streaming, Popsky? Tetris 99. It's just that? Pretty much. I tried uh, playing Hyrule Warriors. But uh, my internet was not having it that day, so... <laughs> I gotta do it once. Twice. Yes, yes, yes. I was about to say, twice I think is a little more than once. Yes. Do you expect any less? Yeah. At this point, I think he should expect it. <laughs> yeah, fair. All right. Uh, let's see what we got here. Captain Joe with the obligatory water. Bleach Bummer with uh, one other non-spoiler thing I can say about Alien Isolation, and not related to the series, is it's been selling me on wanting the Xenomorph as a killer in Dead by Daylight. It would be perfect. Alien and uh, Resident Evil, the two I want to see the most in Dead by Daylight, personally. I mean, they got Pyramid Head and, uh, and Heather in there, so I mean, probably. If Silent Hill can make it, I, I wouldn't be surprised if either of those ended up in there. The One True Zeering says, Thank you for entertaining me and keeping me awake while I finish some of my homework. Well, I'm glad to be of service. And still says, So yeah, if that live DMCA thing becomes reality, what should be our protocol if any parts of your stream get false flagged for whatever reason? I haven't been this angry in a long time, and it's really hard to stay sane during all of this. I mean, to be honest, there's nothing you guys can do. I have to do it because it's my channel. I just have to prove that it's not whatever I got claimed for. Or, if it's 
claimed, I can never stream whatever that item was ever again, basically. So as it stands, uh, for example, I w last night I was or I was talking about doing Need for Speed Hot Pursuit Remastered. I love that game. Uh, that is a fun ass racing game. But it has like Dead Mouse in it. It has like a lot of like a bunch of decently well known artists in it because it was from 2010, back when EA was just like, "Fuck it, just put whatever music you want in the game." So uh, we'd have to do that without music. We'd essentially and just put in Popsky music. Hey. How you doing? Hey. Hey. Hey, Peter. <laughs> hey, Peter, play my music. EA ruins everything? Okay, now that's not an EA thing. <laughs> like, 2010... Like, Twitch didn't exist in 2010. Or if it did, it was either, like, it was still Justin TV. So, I have my own command now. So I wouldn't get... Oh, did someone actually put it in? Nice. Did you make it yourself? That'd be even funnier. I did write the words to it, but I didn't make the command. I did it. But yeah, like, they, like games weren't worried about at that time if we're, like, streaming. Like, streaming... Streamer mode for games is only, like, a somewhat recent thing. Like, the, the earliest game I can think of that has a streamer mode that takes out copyright music is, like, Quantum Break, which was, like, what? That was 2018? 2017? Oh. That actually makes sense why there's a streamer mode then in uh, Control since it's made by the same devs. Yeah, exactly. It's Remedy. Remedy knows what's up. They're good devs. Alright, uh, but yeah, no, if anything comes up, if there's like a false flag on, uh, on the stream, all I can do, I have to deal with it, like, it, they will only listen to the person who runs the channel, so. That's, like, me and the mod team just have to figure out how to fight it. If it happens, it happens. Alright, let's, uh, go to our block. Can't wait! But all I can tell you guys is, this is the reason I have slowly, slowly been getting us ready for this eventuality. This is why I've been, like, replacing all the music we have with, with custom stuff from Popsky or, like, from other people in the community. Like, I have mentally been worried about this since, like, 2014. Like, we've been slowly prepping for it. I've been slowly being like, alright, I think this is safe, this isn't safe. Like, I'm slowly getting you guys ready for it. We haven't really had too many issues with eggs, so that's why I'm not super worried about it. And any that have gotten through, the mods have gotten usually before I do. So, I think we're fine. But, always be prepared for the, uh, for the unsurprise. Like, the unsurprise. Always be ready for the unexpected. I like that, which we can never play Link to the Past. Not the Yelling Cat. The Yelling Cowboy the game copyright caught me off guard because that that one that one surprised me. So yeah. No, uh, the Link to the Past opening is kind of, has been sampled in some music. Dude, the Super Mario World bought like castle theme has been sampled and that got claimed. So like there there's a bunch of fucking false claims that shit like that needs to get fixed. Hundred percent. But usually, if you fight it correctly, it goes away because they don't have a legal foot to stand on. It's just, it's, it's all, it's all bullshit. Can they even <laughs> legally sample, can an artist legally sample someone's music and put it in their own and say, yeah, it's mine now? Because that's why it's, that's my interpretation. You can legally, uh, like, get the rights to use other music as a sample in your music. I believe, like, Kanye did that with a bunch of Daft Punk music. But, you cannot do a copyright claim unless it sounds enough like your version versus their version. If you're just putting it in vanilla, then it's not gonna work. Here, you know what? Here's a perfect example. Uh, on YouTube. 
uh, the VOD where we did the, the, the Bizhawk Shuffle the second time, I got a claim on the Tetris theme. But it was a claim from some remixed version of the song. Uh, but I messaged them and they're like, hey, this, sorry, I think this is just a false flag. Like, we played the original version, not the remix. And they were like, yeah, okay, that's fine. We got it. So, like, most people understand, it's, and it's just a bot making mistakes. But sometimes, you know, you do get the, the random person who's like, yeah, no, <laughs> idiot. Of course it's mine. Like, it's, it's, it's an issue. All right, uh, let's get to art block. Let's get let's get to cheerier subjects. Yes, let's start talking about dreary things. Yeah, here th this is this is this the way I'll sum it all up for you guys. Uh, for this channel, for the streams, you guys don't need to worry. It's pretty much all work that I have to worry about. So the only people who have to worry are people who submit eggs, and as long as you don't submit anything you know is blatantly copyright, like. Spongebob. Anime. <laughs> Anime and Cartoon. so forth. Like radio shit. Commercial. You'll, you'll be fine. Yeah, just be careful. Literally, out of all the viewership here, the only people who need to worry are are the people who make eggs. That's it. Otherwise, I'm the one who has to worry. So, Gokai's eggs are usually... Gokai... Uh, Gokai's... Interesting because Gokai picks stuff so obscure, even I don't know what the fuck it is. So, I I trust at this point that Gokai will know if it's safe or not because I, I don't I don't even recognize half the things they put in their eggs. But that doesn't mean just go obscure for obscure sake because that could still dig up. Something. Oh, uh, join the uh, art Discord because. The egg workshop has a no no list. Oh shit, that well, there may you go. help. That's perfect. I'm assuming Ailita, as she's an art mod, would not steer us wrong. Yeah. Alright. Listening to the bare naked ladies, elves lament on repeat. Xenomorph noises, earbud. Rar, eek! Run. Uh, so what do a tiefling, sorceress, the bare naked ladies, alien, and Metroid all have to do with each other? Well, nothing really, but considering Metroid clearly took some inspiration from the Alien franchise, uh, thought giving Samus a xenomorph hat would be funny. Oh, I just realized it. That's, yeah, okay, I didn't see that part. That's Samus' helmet. She just put a xenomorph hat on top of it. Okay. Uh, as for the bare naked ladies, I mean, it's one of my favorite bands, so why not? I'm gonna be honest, the Alien franchise is something I actively avoid, considering I hate horror, and the idea of horror in space makes me even more fearful for it. Basically, yeah, uh, yeah, hell no. Still probably gonna watch you play this anyway, since it does not it does seem like a fun game and not really playing too much into the horror aspect of Alien. Besides, I like Metroid, and this feels like a Metroid game. Also, Lily learned the name for Elf's Lament today while trying to look up the song. For the longest time, I just knew it as Bare Naked Ladies' Christmas Song. Ah, okay, that song. Yeah, no, uh, I mean, Alien, like, inspired a lot of franchises, but yeah, no, Metroid definitely took some aspects of it. The whole, like, being alone. And, I mean, look at Metroid Fusion. That is straight up, like... This is just alien. Uh, next up. Here. No fear. Listen here, motherfucker. One fear. <laughs> oh, serious. I think, I think that that line, listen here, motherfucker, is our way of knowing, Reese, we need you <laughs> to calm your down. From Theta, a little xenomorph, John, doodle I whipped up. They're not your average xenomorph, if anyone couldn't notice. They're having a nice drink. And I got a... The, the, I like the giant toque that pretty much is just a stocking at that point. It's perfect. Thank you, Theta. Next up is, is Space Ghost. I created a little fantasy species called Spindle Cloaks and drew Rosa John as one of them. They're chaotic good wish granters. I'm pretty happy with the background on this one. Ooh, neat. Cool idea. Thank you, Silver. And from Becky Star. Hi, John. Just wanted to draw something. So have you in the sun. I'm busy today with Christmas shopping, and I think I walked more than I have this whole year. So I think I'm going to go to bed earlier than normal. Have a good night. You too, Becky. Thank you. 
Next up, some more Minecraft skins. Uh, well, here is Yuka Rosa John. Oh, right. Or should it be Rosa Yuka? I added her little shirt, seeing as, you know, breasts. Fair. Thank you. And the follow up. And here is Yuka John, still working on so many others. I have four more that I still need to do these sort of screenshots for them. It's the only fun I seem to be having at this point. Also, not sure what the pants are doing in the back there. The texture is fine, but the screenshot isn't working for the back pants. That's weird. It's like an apron then at that point. Weird. From Mega Nerd. Nothing special, just my first time ever drawing a xenomorph. There was no way I was gonna whole hog uh, on the details as Mr. Giger, uh, on account of him being a better artist, but it gave him a Christmas hat, because we need to make the game Christmas related somehow. A little bit of trivia now. During the late 80s and early 90s, Michael Eisner tried hard to get an alien themed attraction in Tomorrowland of one of the Disneyland parks, because he wanted to try and draw in older audiences. Ultimately, the attraction lost the alien license, but did come to fruition as the infamous alien encounter extra terrestrial, using an original alien creature instead. Cool. Never heard of that, but cool. Yeah, very cool. All right, we already saw that. Uh, what you looking at? Uh, hey, how's it hanging? I mean, uh, how you doing? As someone who picked up and played this game, thanks to your influence, I've learned some things. One, Whistler's a badass. Two, Xenomorphs are cat people, hence none of the cats are harmed in any way, shape, or form. Three, I still don't know why that man in the shower is still alive. There's an alien's infestation happening right now, and the Colonial Marines are, are and he is, here he is showering in isolation. He should be dead. And four, I found a game-breaking glitch. Good lord, I am being influenced. And I want to see if you can find it too. I managed to fix it through movie logic. I'll leave it up to you to find out what I'm talking about and how to fix it. Interesting. Also, unrelated <laughs> question, does anyone have a list of the games we've seen John clear throughout 2020 month by month? Nothing important or relevant to a project I had in mind. Uh, I have a spreadsheet of it all. I literally have a spreadsheet in the exact day slash time, like the day that uh, we clear them all on. So. Isn't it on that website as well? Oh, yeah, it's also on John Nolan's Too Many Video Games .com. Yeah. Uh, it might not be as completely up to date, but I think that... Well, that might only have the monthly ones, too. I forget. No, because I think he put stickers on, on the base of the arcade machines to show that, didn't he? Hang on. I believe so. I forget what they did. Clearing 2020 calendar. Y yes, actually. Yeah, Laser Sniper uh, actually has all the machines with everything everything extra we did. Oh no, because this is lightning. That's lightning round. Oops. Go back. Go back. I want to scroll. Oh, November's not on there yet. Yeah, and uh, it's, it's showing only the lightning rounds. It's not actually showing like anything extra we did on stream. Yeah, but it, it's got a fair amount of the stuff there, so. It's not every game we cleared on stream, but it's a it's a vast majority of them. Yeah, November, December aren't there yet, because we haven't finished December yet. Uh, Next up, from Dr. Zock. Yeah, there we go, Optimus Primal and Megatron. So you like Beast Wars, John? Well, good news then. The next wave of the current line of Transformers toys, a War for Cybertron Trilogy Kingdom, is all about Beast Wars. Brand new toys of Optimus Primal, Megatron, Cheetor, Rat Trap, and Black Arachnia. Okay, I might pick up the Black Arachnia one. Uh, we'll be part of Wave 1, and figures for Dinobot and Air Razor were revealed just a few days ago. Oh, wow, Air Razor, too. Nice. Uh, not that you need more stuff taking up space in your house, but... Well, I'll think about it. Thanks, Dr. Zog. Me, 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 you're putting it on your Christmas list. Mm. From Ace Kage. <laughs> Herf, everybody! It's a chest burster with the chest, and it's wearing a blue ribbon, so... Rosa burster? P.S. I was gonna draw it coming out of some boobs, but I'm pretty sure that counts as nipples and gore. Yeah, that might be a bit too much. Sorry, Kage, but thank you for going with the option you did. Also, I can't help but see this and think of the bit from Spaceballs where they start singing, Hello, my baby! Hello, my honey! That part. Yeah, that's, uh, Blue Plate Special. Yeah, exactly. Check, please. Oh, I think you got what you wanted, Popsky. Well, That's Pop, what I'm talking about. Ask and you shall receive. 
I'm so hot. Why did I say that? <laughs> Is there anything you would like changed about your character? Here's your chance. Would you like to say could be bigger or anything else? Here's your chance to set yourself down this path. And bacon those puppies. <laughs> Why did I say that? Who's the bad influence here? Why did I, I open my tell. mouth? Who's the bad influence here? I can't tell anymore. Check the tag. Tits Prime. Damn. Nice. <laughs> nice. Just ordered up a nice pair of tits. Got got it with express delivery. All right, from Mika. Here's a drawing that I drew of Yolk's Keeper of Space, Alt John, and my Rosa John design. But when I saw a Keeper of Space design on Saturday, I thought that both of them would look good together and wanted to draw them together. This looks real good. Nice, Mika. Well done. I'm sure Yolk loves it too. Could be. Oh damn, here. we're up to quote 16 <laughs> already. Holy shit! I only remember like up to eight. up from Soul Rock. I heard someone say something about a monolith ascending into the heavens, and here's what I pictured. I was like, first, without reading the kind, I was trying to figure out what this is. Is this like Brick Gods, aka Door Gods 2.0? Mm, is this Silver Gods? It's just a monolith. Ain't much more to it. I'm, I'm glad, oh, Tetris, you saucy bitch, got added. That was a good one. For as little as I say, as I say that word, it's, it's just, there was a really funny line for some reason. Thank you, Soul Rock. Next up. <laughs> so last <laughs> night on Juker stream, Julius Pringle was made. I'm glad you talked about the Soul Calibur stream from yesterday because now I can post this. I had way too much fun drawing this. This is amazing atomical. Oh my god. This is exactly what he looks like too. It's perfect. If you didn't see Juker's stream yesterday when we played Soul Calibur, this was the end result alongside Duke Nukem with a can of sour cream and onion Pringles stuck on his massive forearm. It's beautiful. Speaking of beautiful... <laughs> Damn, my massive chin is stuck in a can of sea salt and vinegar Pringles. Please send help. Nice voice break on that. It's perfect. Tried. Why am I why am I checking this one again? Oh, that'd be why. Okay. I'll get to, I'll get to that one in a bit, Tiger. Don't worry. <laughs> one last quick drawing for the night since I had the uh, pro tour in the morning. Meet the anti hydrogen Cerberski. <laughs> Cerberski. Though he's a little <laughs> young to fight Hydra John, he's still practicing his growls. Aw. It's adorable. This is my favorite. <laughs> and one last one since my <laughs> alarm is going up. Hi, I'm Milhouse. You know what? <laughs> Fuck it. I'm throwing the other one in here. Because I saw these two in tandem and I laughed so hard during break. I have come uh, out from the depths of the abyss to bring you this. Bring you all... Bring you all this, because how could I not? Also, John, I definitely heard him say Millhouse Daisy as well. See you all next time, and a dumb enough prompt gives me instant inspiration. Thank you, D-Lo. Thank I you, D-Lo. I has Daisy. I know you did, but I definitely also heard Millhouse Daisy. And apparently I wasn't the only one. Thank you, begrudgingly, Waluigi and D-Lo Comics for, for hi, I'm Millhouse. We've got a little more art to go, but uh, let's see if we can fucking salvage this mess we're in. You know what? Fuck it. I'll throw this in too since Tiger brought it up. There you go. Tits Prime. <laughs> oh my god. I like how both Ailita and Tiger are like, yeah, it's perfect. You literally yeah. asked for this. And are these puppies embiggened enough, Popsky? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely said that to the wrong artist. I'm going to tell you that now. <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, so when we went to break earlier, we fucked our run up completely. So let's see what we can do now. Well, your god game of Pearl Tan Chan, you're not going to. All right, be, so my my, be my bet is in the next five rooms, they give us someone. 
in the party. They had to know that that area was going to fuck things up. Okay, Hennick, it looks like you're on point. Infiltrate the facility and establish contact. Will do, Colonel. We should start by locating a NAVSAC computer terminal so we can get a better idea of the layout of this facility. Oh boy. All right. So we lost we lost everyone the majority now. of our party. Guess who gets to freak out their Twitter following with booby pictures? Welcome to the club. Welcome to the party, pal. <laughs> <laughs> Wayland, you Tommy what have Corp, I done? building better worlds. Oh, he can't even take a drink anymore because there's no one else to take control of, so he can take a swig. He's got to stay sober for the rest of the game. Poor guy. All right, the elevator works, and this door is open. Colonel, this is Grizz. I can't continue. I've encountered remote sentry guns. Mean little buggers are trained right on me. I see that UA-575s. Those are newer models. Very accurate and very deadly. Should I try to take them out? No, nothing in your loadout will be able to destroy them. You'll need to avoid or override it. Look around for the, com uh, for the compound for an override device. All right. All right, we haven't found anyone new yet, and th that's two rooms. Well, here's a corpse. Found somebody. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think they're joining the party. We found many, many What about people. that one? No, that's... Okay, no? That's, that's four rooms, so... <laughs> There's got to be someone in this vent or at the end of this elevator. Otherwise, uh... Otherwise, it's over. Wow, they really just didn't have anyone for us, huh? I don't even know if this game has fall damage. I'm paranoid. Uh, oh my god. I fucking called it. That's $100, Edina. Five, <laughs> five rooms. Room number five. Pay up, boy. Yeah, pay up, boy. Kill real. With kindness and bullets. I got, Hold your fire, I'm a human. I got Bubba my hype man up here. You're lucky I almost turned you into Swiss cheese. Look at this dude. That dude's got like fucking Ash from Evil Dead face going there. What are you doing? Hold up here, Corporal. What's it look like? I'm making my last stand. Those bugs aren't getting me without a fight. This area isn't very defendable. Why don't you fold into our team? We could really use you. What's your battle plan? You turn a tail or are you in this fight? We're in this fight. Gung-ho, devil dog. Now you should fall in so we can get going. Sure thing. I'm Corporal Frank Heston. They call me Bone Bonesaw! Yeah! No fucking way. Bonesaw! Bone Bone that baby. is Bonesaw. Three minutes. Three minutes of Time. <laughs> Are you a Oh my god. He can't I can't believe it. He did it. Deef did it. He was true to his word. Yeah, Deef, he was true, true Deef to his kill, word. Yep. Deef kills Rio with kindness and bullets and says, I keep my bets. It was room number five. I can't believe I actually called it too with the five. That's hilarious. Are you a doc? I don't have a license, but I've practiced some surgery in my time. Let's go. Alright. Thank you, Dee, for keeping your word on that. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, there we go. So we're not completely fucked now. But uh, only one guy is is not going to help. I think I'm in love with both. <laughs> no, no, I need a party <laughs> member. Don't do this to me. Okay, no. sorry, sorry, sorry. No, I hate him. Bonesaw has you the know, best and fucking I lore. I hope we get to see it. Oh, man, that sounds great. I think it's gonna be a bit before we get the switch to bone saw though. Oh, 
Oh, now he's double dead. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Map. As you can see on your PCS map, this facility appears to be built primarily underground. Try to go deeper and see what you can unearth. You got it, Commander Hennig out. Uh, let's see here. There's a fair amount up there. So I'm guessing that's end game. Oh, that's so much down there, though. Oh, that does not look fun. Whew, all right. Have well, fun, John. Yep, that's exactly what I'm thinking. I have a challenge there. Oh, I literally thought that was something I could grab. Can we get a second? That's turn? a lot. That is a lot. Oh no, we are definitely not getting a second friend. Yeah, these are not the friends I'm looking for. If it's mostly uh, eggs, though, it's not that bad, but... Alright, now? Now the flamethrower is, is doing some work. Yeah. That flamethrower was definitely earning its keep now. Oh, that's a separate room. What? Did we did we miss a room? Oh right, yeah, no, there was another panel I could drop down, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, is going down here a good idea? No. Are we doing it anyways? Yes. Yes. Definitely. Can you hold your frame slower for really, for a good second? Ooh, oh, it took a bit, but ammo takes a bit for the ammo to go down now. I think that's a, uh, I think that's also uh, a thing there. Upgrade perk. Yeah. This game has some issues, but it kind of kicks ass. I, I'm, I'm going back and forth on this right now. That that boss fight definitely put a, a sour taste in my mouth, but... Uh, yeah. Justifiably. Yeah. But, I mean, every game has that boss. Yeah, I mean, it still sucks when it happens. Right. Especially with permadeath. Yeah. Especially with permadeath. The game itself has been alright. Oh, that's bad. Oh, this is even worse. Guess what I have to do to open that? <laughs> right next to the radioactive containers. That won't cause any issues. Yeah, no problem. Luckily, they're on some abandoned moon. We're on Phobos. That, that never has problems, right? Phobos has never had any issues in any video game. No! Pretty sure Phobos was one of those good moons in uh, uh, Dead Space 3. I think. Unless I'm misremembering it. Oh, was it Deimos that got rated first in, in Doom?
<laughs> Sick. How much you bet we're gonna walk an NPC through there and they're gonna have a chest burster come out in the middle of that? Well, obviously there's a way to prevent that. Don't get the blue plate special. <laughs> and those who have never seen Space Files won't get the joke. I mean, we pretty much said what it was, so more or less. So, crow. How do we get? I want to. I want. Please don't make me fall in love with you. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably like going to happen. Threat now. For your sake. I like how it's become a threat. <laughs> Could be worse. That's how I open every uh, Tinder conversation. <laughs> Please don't make me fall in love with you. It doesn't look like a wrench solution. Yeah, I need to figure out... Well, here's our chance to switch to Bone Saw. Bone Saw! Alright, let's do it. Bone Saw is ready! Lock and loaded! Right. Let's see Wait, is he here. faster? No, I just was running. Oh, okay. He does. It looks a little faster, but yeah. So speedy. Bone saw is speedy. Radar. Unfortunately, John killed Whistler. Well, it was not on purpose. Well, technically, Whistler was. Whistler was the last one of the original four. That's true. Number in chat saying it's going to be funny if Whistler ends up being the last one. Uh -oh. What the fuck is that? It's Brutes. Commander, did you see that thing? Definitely not the same breed as the one in the, the Sulaco. I believe the suspicions of the research facility were correct. If, uh, if the company's been shipping xenomorph specimens here, they may have already been conducting biological experiments on them for some time, perhaps using animals for hybrid testing. Xeno chimps. I'll cut them half. They're probably the reason communications are down and the facility is abandoned. Continue your search, but keep your eyes peeled for more of those creatures. Corporal, don't let them get the drop on you. No one gets the drop on me. Not even Spider-Man. <laughs> that would be a talent. Think of it. If a Spider-Man game had... An enemy... Well, actually, no. Venom kind of has fighter sense, too. Yeah. Carnage, technically, as well, I guess. I mean, where the fuck is this putting me now? Oh, hey! Marine! Marine, are you alright? What? Uh, oh, sorry. I was trying to get a signal on this PDT locator. She's got a panda and a power button and the keyboard. I love her. Hey, luck. No dice. My squad got split up. These giant insect-like monsters appeared out of nowhere. They just swarmed us. We got, we pretty much got pwned. Yeah. I super love her. You seem to be taking it well. I mean, all things considered. I was pretty pissed earlier. I had some time to calm down. Now I just want to find my fire team and bail. Maybe you should come with us, Private. I could do that. What's your name? PFC Maylin Chow. Just call me Beta. Okay, let's get out of here, Beta. Oh, well, I guess we're out of Beta now. Well, there we go. She's got gamer lingo. If you I kill her, her, I swear. I'm not trying to kill anyone in this fucking party, please. <laughs> you think I wanted to give up? <laughs> you think I wanted to give up the girl that looked like Rosa? Uh. Do you want me to answer that? No. <laughs> sure, John. Well, Kimball, we yeah, know yeah. you trying to kill her. Oh no, so, you're like, no, like we're, you yeah, yeah, John's kill not killing her. Popski is. Never mind. We're we're good. That's yeah, a lot of dots down there. It's all on me. That has a lot of dots. Oh, there. I just saw the dots. We got a dot down here too.
Oops. Hey. Oh, shit. That's max level flamethrower now. Let's take it. Well, let's see what flamethrower looks like. I mean, it looks the same. All right. Well, we won't, so flamethrower is as strong as we can make it for now, or I guess at, at all, because it was like they said plus three was the most. Oh, there's so many dots in this one. Oh, oh, I can burn the corpses. Neat. Uh, does, right. does that Question. make them fire yeah, traps? Does, does that even do anything? I guess it's just for looks. It's kind of reminds me of I don't think You have to crouch. I lied to you. Don't <laughs> listen to me. I had a system. Well, with there's so many bursters here, we clearly like this clearly recently happened. Cuz they should be farther along. What? This is what happens when you have a buffet of nothing but blue plate specials. Alright, let's see here. Ammo, ammo, ammo. Not the most helpful. Yes, I am milking that joke for every penny it's worth. A whole five pennies. I don't like that call command. Bubba and, well, you know this guy by now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like that friend that never leaves or just stays for too long. You say that like it's a bad thing. At least he's conscious about it, like... Damn, John, I didn't need you to <laughs> reaffirm it. <laughs> no, I'm saying, like, it, like, at least you're, like, conscious, like, mm, am I here too often? I can't tell. It's better than being like, I have to be here right now. Okay, so someone asked earlier, can I upgrade the pistol? Apparently I can. This makes Gun happy. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was the one that was. I saw a couple people in chat asking me too, yeah. Alright, oh. I gotta know what does it change? Well, it likely just does more damage. So, same clip. Yeah, they, they pretty much all just been damage based, so. That's that big gun. Can I use it? No, of course not. That would be cool. Okay, elevator in the middle. We're running out of rooms to check for these, this key card here. Oh, what's that? Well, what the hell is that, sniper? Now we're talking an, a, an M56A2 smart gun. Excellent, that should make short work of those bugs. Oh no, the DV-9 is missing. Not a problem, Marine, there should be spares at any of the communication stations. Good thinking, sir, I'm Oscar Mike. So, a better gun? Theoretically, but remember, the flamethrower is at level 3 right now, so we're, we're going to be giving up a max level flamethrower. Oh, 
That might be worth it. Let's see what the gun is. Shotgun. Regular machine gun. Smart gun. Oh, it's this gun! Oh. Okay. My question is, would you be able to use rockets with it? Uh, that's what I'm wondering too, but I think I have to find those to get that back. Can I move upgrades around? Nope. Once you once you got it, you got it. All right, let's well, let's try out the smart gun. But like I said, it's gonna be weird getting used to not using the the big boy anymore, the flamethrower. Okay, mis misunderstood that room. Damn. It's, it seems that's powerful, right. but the problem. Oh no, that's just a regular weld. Never mind. Thought that was goo again. I don't think this game would give you this gun and then make you have to change it back. I mean, that's good game design if they didn't do that, but you never know. Uh, one thing in here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah! That thing ain't fucking I think... Yeah, it kills the xenomorph a lot quicker. Downside is, of course, we're back to having actual ammo. But here's the thing, this is just level one. Uh, level zero, technically. Isn't the flamethrower the anti-goo gun? Yeah, sorry, yeah, that's what I meant. I thought, I said that wasn't goo. I meant to say that that wasn't goo, that it, uh, it just needed welding. Okay, that's the hacking thing we need. Yeah, that works pretty good. Let's get some upgrades for this as soon as we can. Now I feel a little dumb for upgrading the gun, the regular pistol. I've located the override device. Good, this should allow you to bypass this. Why is the scary music playing? There's nothing else down here, nowhere else to go. Hmm, I think it's safe to say that our theory of what transpired is correct. Head back up. We need to check out the upper levels of the facility before we can get the hell out of here. Okay, so... Dumb question, why is there an overlap? I know this is a video game, but why is the override here in a ventilation? Same reason the key cards uh, access, access the upper levels, levels are here, because video game. Or it could be theoretically that people were hiding and as a result it uh, got spotted. None of that. Let's, I'm let's actually test key. the override device here. Ah, you just walk into it. Nope, can't use rockets. It really is just the machine gun. Boo. At least it's not in a towel. Yeah, that's also fair. way up. The good news is I don't seem to actually need to duck anymore with a smart gun. Well, that would sound kind of dumb if you have to. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me at this point. Damn it. Just the one. The, the one downside of this gun is that it has a startup. Other than that, it's definitely a good choice. I wonder if maybe upgrades will decrease the startup time? 
Maybe. All right, we haven't been in here yet. Figured we actually had to take that vent. Ooh, here's a vent we haven't checked. We can hold out hope. Hope prides alone. Nope, just ammo. Well, since I'm here, might as well get it. Oh, hey, what are you doing here? Get out of here. None of that. This is very much Metroid-like. Yeah, with all the like the little branching paths and all the, the hallways to go down. And with uh, what was it? Fusion had the key cards. Yeah. Prime three had something similar. All right, let's see here. Uh, still got a ways to go back up. Did you get the upgrade in the vent you left behind because you maxed out the flamethrower back in the lower area? Uh, we put it on the pistol. So the pistol has plus one right now in case we ever get stuck. Might not have been the wisest decision, but it's the one we've rolled with. So I was asked a question. Mm -hmm. um, with uh, DCMA, how does royalty-free music play in? Well, royalty-free music is fine. So you don't have to worry about royalty-free. Yeah, royalty-free implies that it's non-profit music, so it's it's safe to use. Someone DM'd me that question. I said, oh. Someone else might have the same question, so I figure let's uh, publicly address that question. Royalty free sometimes requires like giving credit to the person who made the song. Technically, Popsky's music is royalty free. Right. But we al we always give him credit for his music and stuff like that. But usually, any like what you really want to look for is Creative Commons. As, as uh, some people in chat just brought up. Oh, Jesus Christ, okay. I just wanted the health, game. Creative Commons usually means they're they're just cool with you just playing it, whatever. Like, uh, Jonathan Colton is usually Creative Commons. Oh, has there been modifications to... Oh yeah, CC attribute, right, yeah. So, so you might have to give a tribute, like, uh, say like, hey, they made this song, but otherwise, like, usually those are safe. Yeah, Jonathan Colton's music is still all Creative Commons, except for the music he did for Valve. So, the two Portal songs and so on. Hey, I have my own command in here. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, hold up. Hey, yeah, as one of the channel bot monitors, I can actually access the bot GUI. And covertly add commands. Yeah, Blue brings up a good point too. Some types of Creative Commons also don't allow derivative works. Watch out for that variant. So we wouldn't really be able to work with that, or like you wouldn't be able to edit those or make remixes and like, so on. Anything cool in this armory? Well, another vent. Every time you say another vent, I just think of the uh, Mario sound clips of doors. Another door? Uh, is it really just just the med kit? I don't know if there's more to the room.
Hey, nice. Nice. Good shit. Here we go, level one uh, smart gun. Now it's even that more makes smart. gun happy. That does make gun happy. Gun, gun's very happy right now. And gun is also smarter because of that upgrade. playing a scary alien game for the NES. Every stage I had to rescue captured people before time ran out and the alien baby burst out their chest. That sounds like Alien 3 for the NES. But yeah, that that, that sounds right. Alright, let's use the save room again. Ammo fully reloaded. I think the door just buzzes oh. at me and doesn't just do it automatically, anyways. Would you like some Sol 4? Jesus! Dude, it's like a fucking truck, though. I'm trying to think what Soul 4 would be. Is it a drink? Is it a movie? Is it a video game? That would seem like a drink, considering it was next to the, uh, the vending machines. Alright, this gun placement makes no sense. Fuck off, really? Oof. Because you need the uh, do that to get in there. Unless you're able to tank it enough to get. No, it, it, it's knockback on it, so you can't even tank it. Unless there's like some speedrun trick, maybe. That's health damage. Oh, I saw the crazy another upgrade. I thought the same thing. Nope, it's uh, it's just a big health container, and there's some ammo. To be fair, I Wait. took a bunch of hits. I needed it. And yeah. Upgrade. Yeah. Heck yeah! But look what I have to do to get it. All right. Mm. Mm. It, mu it must just be based on whatever weapon you use. So this is level two? Yep, level two of the smart gun now. One more and it's max smart smart smartness. Yep. It's Mensa level then. We Oh I hate How this. much is left of this game? Uh, we were at 57% when we landed here. And the, the time frame was six to seven hours, is what I was quoted, so. Uh, we'll be at 60-something percent easily, if not even 70-something percent. Uh, to the people that know this game, is this the final area? No, no, dude, we have to finish, we haven't even done half the ship yet. I'm just, too, this is, feels like best gun and they're giving a ton of upgrades no we still have like three more key cards to get on the ship uh oh uh oh thank god that happened in a room at least
guess you just unplugged their 3DS. Popsky? Yeah, Popsky, how could you do that? I don't Popsky, know. why would you anymore? unplug the 3DS? To be fair, I bought Popsky's 3DS off of him. Yeah. Do you feel that? Kind of tickles. <laughs> Seeing him wiggle like this is kind of great. Makes that grin look even better. He reminds me of the Joker without, like, face paint. I mean, a lot of people were saying he looks like the comedian, and he also looks like... I said he looks like Ash from Evil Dead, so... Some kind of seismic activity, but it's emanating from the top floor of the facility? Proceed with extreme caution, Corporal. We'll go. Oh boy, we got a boss fight, don't we? With only... Let's see, we have three lives? Yeah, we have three. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, that's a big boy. Are you my brother Rex Racer? You tell me. Um. Oh Jesus! We're gonna lose him. We're gonna lose him. No, hey. not Robert Cop. Oh, Colonel, they got another one. I've lost vitals, they're gone. We're losing so many of these fucking <laughs> bosses. Jesus. Uh, like how Colonel was spelled. Yeah, like computer Colonel. Oh, that's neat. Face palm. Okay, six one out. All right, Joe. Bat. Beta. All oh, right, call it beta. Damn. Jesus. I guess you guess what? <laughs> Come on, we got a man down. Yeehaw. <sighs> well, Pop I think Popsy did curse that one. I cursed Bonesaw as well. Please stop cursing. Finally, Jesus. Okay. <sighs> Now that was a mean son of a gun. Another way the Yutani experiment gone wrong. Well, that was wrong. I hate to see right. You have a point. Any survivors up there? Don't look like it. Just bodies in this room. Crying shame. They must have tried to hold out in the tower when their creation got the best from AV at the dropship. Or, or sorry, RV at the dropship. Maybe our friend Sean Davis can shed some light on what's going on here. And that is if he's still alive. Well, I guess where we are again. Hannah, you're on point. <laughs> yeah, because you're the only one left. We need to destroy every xenomorphic life form that we find. The infestation has probably become more severe, so watch yourself and keep an eye out for that company man, Sean Davis. I don't trust him. Hard right, that, Colonel. Hennick out. Okay, we know there's at least... There's at least one guy. He's walking really weird. Oh, what the fuck? They're hostile. They pissed. Thank God you're all right. I heard that things got a little out of hand back on Phobos. They did. Not much we could have done from them, afraid. So did any survive? I don't think so. Every researcher we found was dead. Yeah, that's not who he was asking about. Researchers, I was talking about the specimens. Whoa, slow down, partner. Are you asking me if those bugs are all right? Yes, the xenomorphs. Are they safe? You got some stones on you, city boy. You want to keep pressing your luck? 
The other one pressing their luck. These those specimens are valuable. They demonstrate years of research in biological engineering. Who do you think you are? On the law in these here parts, as far as you're concerned. Now me and my posse, yes, my posse of one, are about to strap on our guns and clean up this town. What are you talking about? Let me spell it out for you. I'm gonna kill every single one of those creepy little bastards on this ship. I think my friends might take issue with that. Why don't you try explaining it to them yourself? Good thing they put cover the in here. Guy from generic company is the evil. Is evil. I Who mean, the generic company was a joke thought? thing. It's he's from clearly from Wayland Utani. Uh, that went over well. Now where'd that Davis go? He's gone, Sergeant. I'll try to track his position. You should get back to the clearing operation. I'll keep you posted on a friend. Hello again. Oh, he's calling me. How nice of him, Davis. He's using the ship's broadcast PA system. I'll try to pinpoint his location. I'm sorry that my friends couldn't persuade you to cease your efforts. That's okay. We had us a pretty good discussion. I think they came around in my way of thinking there in the end. That's a great story. Could you tell it to the rest of my friends? Hold on, I'll go get them. Override, code all Operation Almond. Override, of course it's Almond. Davis just flew the coop, Colonel. I don't think so. I picked up the increase in bioelectric activity after he said it. I think it may have been some sort of override order. Be nice to my friends now, you hear? Box six, I think I've got a beat on his location. I'll mark it on your map, go get him. Yep, so you just basically got all the the uh, robots to go rogue. Uh, of course. Hey, nice. Peace through superior firepower. There we go, smart guns max level. Nice. Let's see, do they have guns or do they just try to punch me? Well, at least we know we don't have to escort anyone. <laughs> yeah, at least it's that. Alright, I think now might actually be... Oh, shit. Hang on. So we found someone somewhere. I'm trying to remember where that was. There's at least one guy we saw, if not two, that we can get back uh, to the party. Right before the boss. Yeah, I remember, I remember right before the boss, but that is very, very far away from our current location. There was another dude we found somewhere. I'm trying to remember where that was. I don't remember. Because this, this, hang on, let me use the mouse. This area here, oh, of course. This little tunnel area here, that's where we found uh, the goth girl. Uh, it might actually be this tunnel here. See that one little L shape there? I think that's where we found a guy. What did, what did you do, Popsky? What are you doing with Tiger? <laughs> I'm, I see people screaming at you to stop, which is always a good sign. Oh, you'll see on our block. Oh, and then I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> now that he's gone, Bonesaw got his nickname from using his smart gun to blow off a soldier's leg to free him from an overturned APC. He carried that soldier to safety on his back. Oh, that's messed up and also sweet. Uh, fuck. So this is the situation we're in. So here's the thing. Now is a good time for us to stop the stream. Like, stop playing the game for the night. But, if I do that, I am not going to remember next week where either of those NPCs are. That's that. Cookie. Or screenshot the map. I could screenshot the map. I can't I can't put pins on is the problem. You have to put a pin on the map, you have to be in that room. Uh god, that's so many rooms to get through to even just get the one over there, and I might be remembering that wrong.
I think it might be worth getting at least one character. Because here's the thing. I will remember the guy over by the airlock. I will never forget that fucking airlock fight. <laughs> the guy over here, I might forget. So I think I'm going to go get that guy, and then we'll save. How close to the end? I don't know actual percentage-wise, but we still need to find... Uh, no, that's not the button I want. We still need to find a wrench, which we know where it is, we just can't get it at currently. We need the... whatever that canister is. Oh, that last thing was the hacking device. Okay. So we have two key items left to get, and our key card probably needs to go another th two or three levels, I think it was. You know, if I can just run past the the bots because they're not going to attack me, then that this is just going to make this faster. However, these guys are going to complicate things. Oh. Yeah, I can't keep doing that. I have to play a little conservatively. Keep an eye on any save points and pop in. Even if it means backtracking a little. What is the canister? I mean, I thought it was going to be for the flamethrower, but we got the flamethrower way sooner. What canister? There's two key items left to get. One's the wrench, which we already know where it is. We saw it super early in the game. And the other is looks like a canister of some sort. Like something you would keep rocket fuel in or something. It's been holding up on ammo quite well. Well, because I mean, we keep popping in pretty quickly. And it has 500 bullets again, which is yeah. pretty good. Pretty sure the guy we're looking no, with that gun is the character reminds me of a cross between Robocop and Rambo. I, I mean, yeah, Rambo has that, that giant machine gun, and it definitely has like the Robocop like gait to it the way he walks. All right, there we go. One person back in the party. Lance Corporal, did you hear from your team? Negative, but I made contact with command. I've been cleared to join up with you. Excellent. What's your name, Marine? Lance Corporal John C. Lasso. Fall in, Lasso. Colossal. Oh my god. You're right. That's the joke they were going for. Call fall in, Colossal. We got some bugs to hunt. Hoorah. A Colossal fight is up ahead. Right, what do I need for this elevator up here? Level 6. Yep, we can't, ain't doing that anytime soon. We can't go in here yet either. Command, there's some wreckage block in the way. Looks like it'd take nothing short of C8 charges to clear it. C8, huh? I think there's probably some on board the ship. Got that command, but I'm not sure where to look. Try the weapons locker. I'll mark the location on your map. Alright, we got two places to go, then. Oh, the game took the, uh, the other spot off the map. Oops. Alright, I think what we'll do is we'll go back to the save point. Ah, shit, but... You know what? Hang on. We're gonna go to the save point, then we're gonna go to the room that we accidentally erased from the map. I'm just taking a casual break. I'm just glad we still have some characters left to use. But man, all these boss fights. Boss fights have definitely been the worst part of this game. I don't think yeah. I'm alone in saying that. Yeah.
the actual exploring I've kind of been enjoying. Like, this has been fun. But, like, mmm. Oh, hey. Uh, we can get that wrench now. Fuck you, box. Hey, I found a wrench! Figure I could use it to turn off some of those steam valves that keep blocking me. Nice so day, Marina. Gotta move on. The scan is showing the inf infestation spreading. Local command. Six one out. Oops, up. Oh, that was up here. Never mind. That's not what I'm looking for. Oops. <laughs> uh, Alright, question. Can Wait. you take uh, the power? Fox 6, I lost the signal. It just went cold. I think Davis may have found a way to jack, or j jack my trammer. Jam my tracker. So what now? You may have accessed an area we haven't been yet. Continue sweeping the ship. Just stay frosty. I'll see what I can do from here. Command out. Weird that he'd even be like transmitting from the the showers. All right, we can't do the electrical thing yet. So I guess yeah, we're only missing oh, one key. Oh, right I think keys. I figured out what um what the cancer is. I it's just my nerdy knowledge, I think. If you have an electrical current and you like super freeze it, it might ah, stop. Good idea. So it might be CL2. Can I recruit the naked shower guy? No, he's back on a planet we can't access anymore. All right, uh, we are not too far away from, I guess, getting the uh, the guy down there. But uh, that's all we're gonna do tonight. Let's see how far in the game we are. Could you have recruited him? I'm pretty sure you can't because he's an enemy soldier. That's why he has the enemy key card. We I'm are say 80 percent, 73 percent through the game. We're three quarters of the game done already. That's uh, that's not bad, actually. So you're saying there's a chance? So that was that was uh, four hours of gameplay, I believe. Because uh, I ran two, no, it'd be more than that. Because I ran two hour and a half timers. We went late on the second one because of the airlock, and then we clocked just a little under an hour then. So I think yeah, I think that six to seven uh, one's gonna actually hold up pretty well. Which means next week we'll finish this, hopefully. Uh, and uh, oh, check what the knife game is. Oh, I know what it is. Uh, I've seen video of it. But to show you guys, I'll do that. All right. So you know the old. It's like an old game you used to play, like where you you stretched out your hand, and then you drop like a pencil or a knife in between the gaps of your fingers. It's that. So if that bothers you, look away now. This is a fair warning to that. Tap the touch screen in the red areas back and forth as fast as possible before time runs out. Because this was a thing in, in one of the Alien movies, right? That's why it's here. Five finger fillet, yeah. Yeah, you stab between your fingers and try not to hit your actual fingers. Game over, man. Didn't know you were secretly Scooby. Huh. I'm worried that my screen might not be calibrated well enough. So I'm being a little more cautious than I should be. Although if I was using an action knife for this, then I would need to be very cautious.
too speedy. I knew it. The stylus was slowly sliding in my hands. Fuck. That one's really stressful too, because when I start hearing the beeping, I'm like, oh shit, I gotta speed up. And of course, Ripley has the uh, the top speed and the top score. <laughs> and our Marine roster. Patrick Stainless Steel. Patrick Steele is an officer's officer. His family has been career military for five generations. Steele graduated top of his class in 2148 was commissioned as second lieutenant the same year. He served as commander for second platoon, a company, a company. Jesus, this is a lot more of a write-up than I expected. Holy shit. All right, are there write-ups for, yeah, there's write-ups for everyone who's deceased and everything. Look at this. Buddy Brando Whistler. <laughs> Buddy Whistler had the unfortunate luck of being named both Buddy and Whistler. Big man is worse. He was a scrawny youth who developed into a scrawny young man. In school, he was teased, never too savagely, but enough to want to set the record straight that Buddy Whistler was all man. He joined the U.S. Colonial Marines right out of high school, and to everyone's surprise, passed Marine recruit training and chose uh, to be an infantry rifleman. Whistler wanted to experience combat, but always seemed to somehow miss it. You see, despite what people may think, Whistler isn't afraid of combat. Maybe that's his problem. It's Captain America before he was turned into Captain America. I think that's what they were going for, yeah. Homewrecker, Bear, Buster, Booker, Gristle, Cowboy. Oh yeah, where was this guy? Was he back on the, uh... He was up in that supply room. Wasn't that the other planet? Or was he, is he on here on the actual ship? And that's, that's near the guy the near the... Side area. That's the guy near the, uh... Huh. The airlock. What's his name? Cuchilos. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, because I had to find a walkthrough that's in English. Uh, the ones on Phobos was Chow and Heston. Uh, Archon was Henrik J. And C. D pack. So that one's on Archon. Mm -hmm. uh, Fisher Amber, Lossel John, Kennedy Zo, Cine Angel. So it sounds like Angel can only be accessed on the second visit. Oh, okay. Our... Damn, Bone Salt was 26. Frank Heston loves guns. A lot. He loves them small. He loves them big. So it was no surprise to anyone who knew Heston that he joined the USCM. After basic and infantry schools, Heston pursued his MOS in becoming a weapons instructor. He served as a junior special weapons instructor at SOI East for two years before he decided to transfer to combat uh, unit during the Arcturian War. During an engagement in the Declor sector, Heston's APC was hit with a magmine booby trap. The resulting blast flipped the APC, killing two aboard and one Marine riding atop the vehicle. The APC landed on top of one of the mounted marines outside the vehicle, pinning his leg. The squad tried to free the trapped marine even as they fell under enemy fire from the enemy ambush. Out of options and refusing to leave a man behind, Heston trained his M56 smart gun on his trapped teammate's confined leg and severed it from knee with a short burst. He carried the wounded marine out of the ambush, saving his life. When later describing the incident, the grateful marine told his superiors that Heston used the M56 like a bone saw. He was admonished for the activity by his CEO, but the name stuck. Cuchillos. Okay, Cuchillos is Spanish for knives. So this this dude is literally just nicknamed Knives. Alright, so so far we have lost eight characters out of twenty possible characters. And there's a couple I think we... all but one was a boss. Yeah, all but one was on a boss. And that was uh Cutter. Zoe Cutter Kennedy. I miss you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
So we'll yeah. definitely we'll definitely wrap this up next week, even if it ends up being a struggle by the end. And uh, that means we will play the next game on the list, which I believe was Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Yes, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie, the game. And if we finish both of those in time, we'll start Crackdown 3. <laughs> Can't wait. But if I had to wager a guess, it'll probably be a case where we'll probably be close to the stream end by the time we finish Mighty Morphin. Like, I don't think we're going to finish this game in, in the first 90-minute slot, but we'll see. that, let's get ready to do the last art block of the night. Uh, according to my records, there's been no eggs. Alright, no eggs means uh, no sounds to play, I guess. <laughs> ah, fuck it, I'll play some anyways. Because we got, we got a couple yeah. leftover ones here, so... This one's from Still. So adorable. And this one goes out to no one in particular. You will give me. <laughs> That's gonna get old so fast. And from Game Game Fan, I assume I don't have to show this one. I'll just play the audio. The Screaming John musical. This party's getting crazy. Let's rock. God, that was loud. Okay. And uh, I got a video from Gokai. A method to the deep cuts. Hey, John. Hey, okay. chat. I wanted to let you know just how confident I am with the deep cuts that I've made these past few months. Danger Rangers, <laughs> the source of that one robot letting you know what he can do, is in a copyright legal limbo. While researching this show for my review of it, I came to the conclusion that the possible current owner, one Chris Smith, purposefully let the websites associated with Danger Rangers expire back in 2016. To put it bluntly, it's a dormant franchise and the owner of a realty agency in Charlotte, North Carolina isn't going to care one way or the other. With We Sing, that hasn't been a constant entity since 1996. Or rather, they haven't made anything new since 1996. Outside of re-releases of their content, they aren't really looking to start any legal trouble online. I'm confident about this because, even though they have a verified YouTube channel, they aren't really copyright claiming these full uploads of their stuff. So you can rest easy knowing that my deep cuts aren't actively looking to break copyright. Isn't that right, Cadenza? You can always trust him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you could have just said the copyrights expired, but I mean, I guess that's a detailed way of showing why you know this is right. Thank you, Gokai. All right, and with that, let's get our block ready. I found that informative. It was informative. I'll give him that. I also shout out to that little hey, uh, that little clip in the middle there. Hang on, let me let me bring that back. I don't, you might have missed this. It went by a little quick. Look, everyone, it's one of the writers of the Lego movie. I am not kidding. <laughs> what? Apparently they were in one of the We Sing things. All right, uh, let's get, let me get, what has happened to Art Block? Uh, things and stuff. Wow, yeah, there you go. Oh, it looks like you lost Cocom feed. Yeah. How's the game, John? Interesting. Um, the actual stage has been fine. The boss is not so much. We've uh, we've had some struggles. All right, where did we leave off on our block? Because I jumped ahead a bit. Right there. That that's definitely where we definitely where we left off. Alright. 
Let's go. Let's wrap up our block, and then we can get the hell out of Dodge. Damn. While Waluigi was the first to get something like this posted, I still wanted to show this. Sea salt and Kronk Pringles. Oh, Kronk. Source, Google. <laughs> you said in one of your other M streams that you've only seen the ending of Aliens. Yeah, I confirmed that. I said that earlier tonight, too. That, uh... Because they, they basically recreated the ending of that, in a way, here. So, like, I recognize this part. I get that one. yippee ki Mr. Falcon. Seems fitting. <laughs> hey, Luigi, want to see my new chainsaw and hockey mask? <laughs> Mamma mia! Oh, sorry. What am I thinking? <laughs> Wait, Millhouse Daisy? Oh, wrong Simpsons character. Yes, Luigi does sleep in his hat and work clothes. Thank you very much. <laughs> He probably would, to be fair. Thanks, Zuck. I like I like the fact that definitely, out of all the Mario princesses, Daisy would be the one to own a chance on hockey mask. That that is I feel like that's actual canon in lore. Yes, I agree. But Popsky, we toads are genderless. I don't care. Popsy's just full of love. Emil has Daisy, John has Rosa, I can have Toadette, I guess? Popsky 2020. I'm sorry That's I latched on the I'm sorry I latched on the throwaway lines and feel the need to draw based on those instead of the main jokes, but uh, yeah, developer of Captain Toad uh, Koichi Hayashida confirmed in an interview that Toads are a genderless race that take on gendered characteristics. So hearing that Popsky claimed Toadette might have sparked something in my brain. I broke up the color pencils for you, Popsky. Thanks. Cool. Popsky's full of love. He don't care. He just loves Toadette for who they are. As should you. Yeah. Uh, keep hearing. Oh, so that was OBS reconnecting. Sorry, what that sound, that jingle was just then. So if you're hearing Windows 10 jingles, that's OBS. That's the Cocom feed coming back for them. Yay! What? Wait, there's a Cocom feed. Oh my god, I'm gonna slap you. <laughs> <laughs> Tiger, you got like five minutes. You might wanna you might wanna strap one on because it's time to jam. Speed up. Uh damn it, Popsky, I had an idea with the monolith that you had to tell us uh, then you had to tell us your tastes. Rushed with limited experience, but here's your big tittied goth girlfriend. Don't worry, I wanted to get it done and didn't have the patience for a more detailed shot. It's perfect. Nice of done. Alright, we already showed that one, and we also already showed that one. So we're up here, from Angels, X John 9 is just a simple teenage robot trying to get through the day without glitching up the world. Not sure how she was created, really, but she was on the wiki. Sort of working from bottom of the list to the top of the wiki now, since I was jumping all over the place before. Also, you keep on making more and more alts, and I will never catch up. We're at, like, what, 400? Although, I think a bunch of them are just, like, Rosa in a different outfit, or me in a different outfit, or something like that, so... I think we might be over 500 now, I forget. <laughs> the answer is, you got a lot of work ahead of angels. Yeah, Mooch even says we're over 500. Let us know when we get over 9,000. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm freaking dumbass marines. Aliens with the xenomorphs are from Boston. For context, if you pre-ordered Isolation on Steam, you got some goodies for Team Fortress 2, including a full body suit for the Scout. At least I think it's a suit since it's a Halloween only set. I'm not entirely sure. Amazing. Amazing. Should I delay making my Rosadon variant then? No, Boggy, go for it. You're good. Uh, tits for. Uh, don't. Just. Just don't. Popsky seems to have overindulged in the brew. Please look forward to his new album, It's All Cheesecake. As an aside, Popsky, honestly, you've been here long enough to know better than to taunt me. <laughs> Boy. So, they posted that to Twitter, yeah. and then I retweeted it, and I said, not big enough. <laughs> oh, so this is John, and John.20, and I'm Baba. Just thought I'd clear that up. You, you'd think at this point, like, I would be more 
uh, relieved to see that it's not an alt John doing this for once. <laughs> it would be a nice change of pace. Also, I like how it's it's all cheesecake. Yet that's usually like a line for like the hips and the butt. And meanwhile, you're you're definitely all tits at this point. Although I'm being told, as I've been warned, there's a third one coming. I don't know if it's going to make it in time for the stream. We'll see. Shout out to the tag, imminent property damage. <laughs> Thanks, Tiger. Next up. <laughs> Super Ice, we're never going to learn because we find it too funny to not learn. I am the posse, one-man posse, gonna go on a killing spree, fuck aliens, roll credits. Oh. Yeehaw and shit. Also helped Duke Nukem out, his arm stuck in a Pringles can. How tragic. Hashtag DJ Pringles Snookum. I found leaked footage of deleted lines. Shocker how relevant it is. It's amazing how on, on brand that is. Thank you, Katana. Oh, look at this one. From Mika. There you go. I'm so pretty. Here's a doodle of Jenner Popsky. Aw, you're very cute. And you're very Twitch Prime. Congratulations. Twitch Prime. Twitch Prime. Twitch Prime. Thank you, Mika. And the last one I have here before a refresh check from Battler. Wasn't sure what's a post that would be relevant to the stream, but considering that you're playing Aliens Infestation, I decided to make a Corporal Marine John. I never watched any of the Alien movies, if you're wondering, so I don't know the official name of the soldiers in Alien. I mean, it's just, it's standard uh, ranking system for the for Marines anyways, I believe. Either way, I made sure to provide them the weapons to complete their mission. An assault rifle, a shotgun, a pistol, and a minigun. Wasn't able to add the flamethrower as it wouldn't make any sense for someone to wield a flamethrower in one hand and a minigun in the other as if physics come into play. You need both hands to use them. I disagree. I'm very much down to have... You could have a wrist-mounted flamethrower. It would be not as impressive as a regular-ass flamethrower, but it would still be a flamethrower. I'm pretty sure in one of the Iron Man movies, he has, like might have, like, a compartment come out of his suit with a flamethrower. Or something around that line. I can't remember. It's been forever since I've seen an Iron Man movie. Alright. Let's do a quick refresh check. Tiger did it in time. <laughs> fuck is this? An advertisement. You will not find my limit, Tiger says. I feel like I can't, I can't help but think this seems to benefit Popsky more, I feel, in this situation, simply because now Popsky is now their own billboard and blimp. So really, <laughs> like, anywhere from in the city, you can see popsky.bandcamp.com. So while you're worried about buildings being crushed from, like, from ever-growing tit flesh, you're also like, hmm, I wonder what that website's for. Also, shout out to your butt getting bigger, too. So, I guess there's you still do get that cheesecake. Also, Tiger, I know you would do this. You have a fucking tanker, I just noticed. God damn it. That's the tanker he's drinking out of. Or she's drinking out of. <laughs> I can't stress this enough. Bigger. <laughs> He doesn't give a fuck. He does not give a fuck. You will not find a limit to me. There you go. There's your tits prime right there, taking up a good chunk of Texas. Popsky, why? So, Popsky, big enough yet? The tiger's like, I wanted to go to bed tonight. Then worry about it for another stream, bud. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, As you know, likely, I'm here a lot. <laughs> All right, uh, that's gonna do it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Wednesday, oh, sorry, hang on, no, Tuesday, because tomorrow, tomorrow is disc only. I need to remember that, because I keep, I thought my Tuesday was free. Oops, tomorrow is disc only. Wednesday is Power Trip, so that means we're gonna raffle off who gets to pick the next game we play on stream. Thursday is top, ooh, no it's not. Thursday is actually currently sort of free, simply because it's going to be uh, the Game Awards are that night, so we move top-down perspective. But there's rumblings that something else might be going on Thursday? I'm not 100% sure. Stay tuned on Twitter for that. 
a taste. Oh, yeah. Power Trips Wednesday. Yep. Uh, Friday is Top Down Perspective now, because that's because we're going to do it after the Game Awards the next day. And then Saturday's Fortune Cookie. That's the schedule. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for hanging out. What's our uh, raid message? Oh. Oh, boy. <laughs> this makes Gun happy. Why is he still alive? What? Jesus, he's still doing it. Before... Before I started the stream tonight, I was watching Late Night Retro. He is trying to beat Mario Kart 150cc. Blind. He has not played through it, but like the 150cc's before, so he doesn't remember anything about it. Which uh, Mario Kart are we talking Super about? Super Mario Kart. Oh, so SNES. Oh, God, yeah. I feel sorry yeah. for him. When I went to go make oh, not even uh, like two hours before I started the stream he had gotten gold in all the cups except for special cup two hours before I started the stream he's still going he has been live for 16 hours Jesus let's go let's go tell him this makes gun happy Actually, you know what? That, hmm. I don't like the wording on that. I think I might want to pick something else there instead. Uh, Popsy cursed waifus. <laughs> He's gonna be like, who the fuck is Popsy? I also like go to bed. You know what? Maybe, maybe, maybe hashtag go to bed is a better idea, actually. <laughs> You know what? I go in with that. We're going. We're going to bed. Late night retro. Currently live for 16 hours, trying to beat Super Mario Kart. Poor guy. It's me. That's too long. As a broadcaster, I can't look at Miss Cherry vagina and not just <laughs> say, "What the fuck, man?" Of course. That's some perverted shit. Miss Cherry Vagina? Why is that what I unmuted on? Why is that what I unmuted on? Do you think three vaginas or just like a couple? Why is that oh, what great. I had to unmute on? Yeah! <laughs> it's been that sort of night, John. Mm-hmm. Yo, people from the program. Uh, I hope he has fun a with the cheating came into AI. The chat room called Miss Cherry Vagina, would you read their name Vagina Vagina Vagina? Or no? <laughs> Like, so there's this viewer, she comes in, or maybe it's even a he. They come in and they're called Miss Cherry Vagina. Would you just say Vagina 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 to them, or...? Why would you say it three I... times like that? It's not Beetlejuice! Please don't cancel me. I haven't had enough time on this platform, please don't cancel me. But you guys have to admit, right? Miss Cherry Vagina is kind of I, a lewd name. I I think I think he needs some sleep. <laughs> I think I'm gonna end up getting more sleep than him. I can already tell. Well, I'll see you all for Panzer Dragoon Orta for the chosen by Bell. No, that was last month, dude. Oh, that's the last pin of power. Oh wait, now I see. It's Pocky and Rocky for the SNES for Gazooks. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for Disco Only and then Wednesday for Power Trip. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>
Bye, everybody. Bye.